My friends over at Underdog, Underdog has been working hard behind the scenes to create a sportsbook app using their own technology that caters to you, the sports fan. And that's where Underdog Fantasy makes things simple for you. They are creating an experience for you, the user, and that way you can actually help shape the future of the app. I use Underdog, and it's simple and easy to use. There's a lot of different easy features for you to follow, and that's the reason why I use Underdog Sports app. Download the Underdog Sports app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis, my name, and use your first bet mulligan which returns up to one thousand dollars as bonus funds if your first bet loses that's underdog sportsbook promo code dennis must be 21 or over to gamble and present in north carolina gambling problem call 1-877-718-5543 or visit more than a game.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER terms conditions and restrictions apply and can be found in the underdog sportsbook app it's truck month at your local ram dealer and now's the time to get great deals on our award-winning lineup of trucks at ram all we do is trucks maybe that's why ram is the most awarded light duty and heavy duty truck brand over the last five years ram trucks feature innovative technology and uncompromised power and dependability that give you the power to strengthen your truck game. Go to Ram.com for great deals and hurry in for the best selection of trucks during Ram Truck Month. Based on total full-size pickup awards 2019 to 2023 CYTD, based on standard and available features offered. Beat the spring cleaning rush and call our cleaning heroes at Zero Res. This month, get three rooms Zero Resified starting at $105, and if you get your air ducts cleaned, they'll clean your dryer vent for free. Visit ZeroResNC.com and book your appointments today. Shop our best savings for spring during Spring Fest at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. And save on premium two cubic foot mulch. Get five bags for just $10. Because Lowe's knows spring. Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid to 417. Appliance savings vary based on purchase amount. Exclusions apply. See Lowe's.com for more details. Premium mulch offer excludes Alaska and Hawaii. Selection varies by location. While supplies last. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm meteorologist Anthony Baglione, tracking still a windy forecast through the rest of today. Gusts could be up to about 35 miles an hour with a mix of sun and clouds. We'll see temperatures in the low 70s and another chance of some rainfall coming through this evening. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Three o'clock check of your money. The Dow Jones currently down 547 points at 37,911. Love guarded by Keels, gets a screen, pulls up for three. Got it! Caleb from straight away! Jones with one. Jones puts it up at the buzzer. Yes! He ties the game! Joining with a long rebound, kicks ahead to Smith. Three ball, right side. Bang! Shotgun snap, Bryce Young, pressure off the backside. Throw to the end zone. Chark pulls it in with his fingertips. And another chance, and the save's made by Anderson. And the fans will tell you, did you have a good night? On Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. The Drive with Tim Donnelly here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, today's a good day, everybody. We are live from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina for their spring open house, which is going on out here at the Aluminum Company, 1335 Hamlin Road, until 5 o'clock tonight or this evening. If you can't make it, that's completely okay because they're doing it again tomorrow on Saturday, uh, beginning at 8 a.m., going till 4. They have things like uh, gift certificate drawings up to 200 or $2,500, let me, let me say that correctly, uh, as well as uh, quite a few of uh, the, the services that they traditionally offer, including bring in photos of what you have. They can give you an estimate. Uh, they can provide special financing. It's, it's windows, it's siding. It's, it's a whole lot of stuff going on. And if you're into this kind of thing, on-site food truck and ice cream truck will be providing a free lunch and snack tomorrow during the open house. Again, all that's out here at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. It's also a good day, and, and uh, Paul Eihander, our program director and the host of Next Up, is uh, out here with me. He can confirm 
uh, I got one minute ago a notification on my phone that Tiger Woods birdied. Can so, confirm. So there you go. The, the <laughs> Masters is going on. We're on Tiger Watch, and it's a hockey night in Carolina, and that's where we're going to start the show. Uh, hockey night in Carolina means you can hear the Canes and St. Louis tonight right here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, I'm always looking for the, these last three games really the last 10 games, you can start doing it where you're looking for which team is motivated by what. If you're mathematically eliminated, as much as you say every game matters, you're going to be going out there with a different amount of enthusiasm. St. Louis right now is one of two teams in the Western Conference that are not either clinched for the playoffs or eliminated from the playoffs. It is them and Vegas, and guess what? They are three points behind Vegas with just a few games left to play, which means they are a caged animal. St. Louis understands that every win, every two points is wildly important. What does that mean to the Canes? It means this. You, you don't want to be in a fight with a caged animal and you're out there just trying to get to the end of the run, right? I, I've used this example in the past, but if you're playing out there in the neighborhood, right, you're out there with your buddies and you're playing, I don't know, uh, uh, basketball pickup you're playing some kind of dodgeball whatever it is if before the game starts one guy goes hey 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 everybody listen up i have a piano recital tonight i'm wearing my recital pants i, I can't fall right i just can't get hurt i can't break my fingers because i have a piano recital tonight is everybody cool with that guess who is 100 putting a hole in the knee of their pants and breaking a finger that day it's the guy out there that's doing everything <laughs> he can to not, right? Meanwhile, the person who's like, oh, I have nothing, they're going to come out scot-free, didn't trip once. It, the Canes can't go into this game thinking, don't get hurt, just, just you know, do, do the basics. We want to win, but we understand our goals are bigger. If you go into a game against somebody that's playing like a caged animal and you're playing like you're, you're, you're prim and proper and already set for the postseason, it – that's when the catastrophes hit. It's you can't worry about the 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 basics. Uh, the Blues and the Golden Knights are locked in a final down to the road game of chicken postseason match. The Canes are moderately aware of who they're going to play if the seating changes in the postseason. It's two different mind spaces, but they have to go in thinking, build momentum, thinking. How we play now sets the tone for how we're going to play a week and a half from now. Uh, matter of fact, let's hear from Rod Brindamore, the head coach, on building momentum over these final road games. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's one way to say it. You know, that's the, the coach speech. That's certainly the, the way to talk about it. We, what's important is to keep doing it right and for us to, you know, obviously you want to get better every day and working on the little things and set us up for um, whatever the playoffs start. So, uh, that's the way the, that's the way we got to look at it. You want to hear a coach struggling against all struggle to not say, I really don't care how these next three games go. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, it's, it's, he's aware of it. Just like everyone else is aware of it. The Canes cannot be judged based on their regular season. They've done everything they can do in the regular season. This, this season is their third consecutive 50 win season in the regular season. It's all about the postseason. They just have to play three more games to get there, which puts them in a, in a little bit of an awkward situation going up against St. Louis. So this team is closer to the end of its season than at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. and it has gone through a metamorphosis of changes, whether it's in goal, whether it's trying to get Andrei Svechnikov and Sebastian Ajo on court, which one has done so much, and Svech is coming on late, as you have seen, <laughs> and you have, you have prophesied that Andrei Svechnikov will certainly have this surge at the end of the season, which is good news for him. We're not talking about goalies anymore. We're talking about at the end of the season. And you talk about St. Louis being the caged animal, mm -hmm. right? The kid that's uh, the, 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 they're going to come into this thing and, and come rolling at him. And Rod downplays that, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, ah, you know, it's just the end of the year. We got to get going. Momentum. Yeah, you could talk about those kinds of things. Here's what happened last night in the NHL in the spoiler role. And the crazy part about the Carolina Hurricanes right now is that they are in the spoiler <laughs> role. They are. Buffalo yep. came out last night, and I think the Canes could apply that tonight to be really physical with St. Louis. Buffalo last night pushed the Washington Capitals around so much, and the Capitals are in the same spot that the St. Louis Blues are in, trying to find themselves getting into that last wild card position in their conference. Buffalo came out and played smash mouth hockey so much at the end of that game it was a full five-minute brawl involving <laughs> involving short-time former Carolina Hurricanes forward Max Pacioretty. 
there who go. was in there swinging and trying to defend his guy. Who <laughs> looks healthy. Right. Regardless of what happens in that game, they are in that role. The New York Islanders also feel like they're in that role, too, trying to help out, you know, honestly, trying to help out the Canes as they play the Rangers tomorrow. So you see the Canes in an interesting spot here where they're trying to downplay the momentum, but suddenly can find themselves, and I hate using the word bully, but kind of in that bully role where they can say, you know what, St. Louis, screw you. We don't <laughs> want you in the playoffs. We'll do our own thing because we know we're going there. There's, You're right because uh, you can kind of play both sides of it there where you can motivate yourself by the situation they're in. Right, you can be a competitor that's saying, "Well, why why should we give these guys a free pass to two points and, and closing the gap on on Vegas? That's not cool." But also, I do think how they play, like if they're the bullies in this one, I think it's more likely they're the bullies in Game One of their postseason. Right? Part of it is you you know you are what you repeatedly do, and you don't want to change what you repeatedly have done all year for the last three. So so. You know, maybe the coach speak, there's a reason why it's coach speak, right? And, and Rod Brindamore is going, oh, we could get, yeah, momentum, sure. That's the coach speak. That's the speech I'm going to give in the locker room. A lot of times those coach speak things start with a grain of truth, which is, you know what? The teams that play well in the postseason are usually the ones that don't care if a game matters or not. They're just the competitors. They're the bullies. They just want to exert their dominance over somebody else because they're more dominant than somebody else. Rod's looking at us in the media and – us sitting here at the aluminum company Pat, patting us on the head right. and saying, oh you cute media people. yeah per, per, <laughs> probably too because if i put my if i put my 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 small shoes into his larger shoes and i go what what's what's most meaningful for my team right now staying healthy staying on mm -hmm. the ice yeah getting some wins i'm okay with losses as long as it's not a bad loss and we look we don't look foolish yep. out there and just get blasted or my goalies do something stupid you know play the right way do the right things because at the end of the day when you get into the postseason he doesn't care if it's a win on the road or if it's a win at home. He doesn't care if it's home ice advantage or, mm -hmm. or they play everything on the road. He's like, a win is a win no matter where we get it. We're going to play good hockey every single night in every one of these things because there are short-term memories in that locker room, and they know how close they were last year to taking one more step and playing two more weeks later into the summer. I would argue this. I think there there is a difference in this game than the past, but it's it's super minute and it's pretty much only Rod, which means if you put Sebastian Ajo, and we're going to use him as the example because he's Sebastian Ajo, if you put Sebastian Ajo on the ice, he doesn't know 80%, right? He knows Sebastian Ajo's speed. I think you might have him on the ice for 17 minutes rather than 21 and a half, and that's that's a decision Rod can make to not throttle down but make sure his guys are fresh. But then if if those four minutes are going to Jack Jury, Jack Jury's on the ice for those four minutes, and he's going 100%. Whoever's out there is trying to do the best they can and, and not being protective, not trying not to get hurt, which I actually think usually leads to getting hurt, and, and you know, not a head on a swivel. So, so the guys that are out there are going to be trying to win. You know St. Louis at home with what, what's on the stake for them is, is going to be bringing the noise. And, uh, and I'm going to be watching because when the noise is brought with the Canes, it's usually pretty darn entertaining. Uh, you can also hear it right here on 99.9 The Fan. As we said, it is a hockey night in Carolina. Uh, with that being said, I need to tell you about my friends over at DraftKings, my partners over at DraftKings. The 82-game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. I love that. The real season to get started. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. If you're new to this whole sports betting thing, it's, it's only been uh, been live here in uh, North Carolina for one month and one day. Try betting on something simple like a team to win, right? You pick your favorite NBA team, you pick a team you think's going to win, and, and, and that's it, right? You're just picking them to win. Call that betting on the money line. Go to the app, select your team, place your first bet, and it's that simple. Here's something else to sweeten the deal for you, for new customers, that is. Bet $5, five, and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. New customers, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Use code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, with no spaces, and uh, and you get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. That's only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms. Uh, we're going to take a break, but when we come back, the Duke basketball roster for next season feels like the tournament just got over. It's taking shape. One player announced he's coming back. 
two said they're going pro. We'll give you the names and the impact coming up next. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. Orloff, he scores! Dimitri Orloff, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Stormwatch with Adam Gold, 7.30, puck drop at 8. Second chance, they score! Jesper Faust knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. If you see me stopped in the McDonald's drive-thru, just staring at the menu with my what-should-I-order face, don't interrupt. It's the most important decision I'll make all day. Enjoy savings every day when you get a McDouble, McChicken, and other faves. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Plus, get any size Dr. Pepper for just $1.29. Price and participation may vary. Ballot for product of equal or lesser value cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. O'Reilly Auto Parts offers more than just the right parts for your repair. Our professional parts people can also test your battery, install your new wiper blades, and diagnose your check engine light for free. For the best service, advice, auto parts, and accessories, stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Bunn on Main Street next to Hardee's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts Spring, new beginnings, maybe new chances at life in the bedroom? Guys, if Mother Nature needs a little assistance helping you spring into action, Arise Urology Clinic offers the hope and help you need thanks to Core Wave Therapy. Spring on over to corewavetherapy.com to check out Corewave or call Arise Urology Clinic for Men at 919-459-5400. Again, learn more or schedule an appointment today at corewavetherapy.com. Big Golf Week equals Big Golf News. Global Golf's retail location has been redesigned with you in mind. Now, North Carolina's largest selection of pre-owned golf gear has so much more. We've added hundreds of pre-owned golf clubs to the sales floor, and this week only, save up to 20% on on your entire pre-owned order. Plus, Global Golf has all the latest golf gear to get you ready for the season, and our PGA professionals are here to help you with fittings and lessons. Global Golf, open Monday through Saturday, 10 till 6, 7320 ACC Boulevard, North Raleigh. Sound Station and Security, your automotive and audio experts. Car audio, car video, home theater, wheels and tires, and so much more. Plus, did you know Sound Station and Security offers full service for your vehicle? Alignments, inspection, oil changes, window tinting, and custom exhaust. And with a variety of financing options, SoundStation and Security can help you get what you need today. Two locations, downtown Smithfield and on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. SoundStation and Security. Visit myhotsound.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Contractors, when you're trying to stay competitive, every dollar counts. Consider Habitat for Humanity for your new cabinets and kitchen design services. Habitat for Humanity Restores now sells brand new solid wood cabinets, high quality and manufactured locally, available in multiple styles and color options. Everybody wins because you save money and can stay competitive, which keeps your customers happy and sales benefit Habitat for Humanity home projects. Learn more about custom cabinet orders from Triangle Restores at trianglerestores.org. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I was going to wait for the beat to drop, but it felt like it was going to take a while. <laughs> Come on, pumped up kicks. <laughs> we are uh, 
Just don't listen to the lyrics. Uh, it gets a little dark. Uh, we are live from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Spring Open House. And uh, we're actually it's kind of a perfect place to talk about it because we're out here in Durham off Hamlin Road, 1335. And we're about to talk about uh, the Duke Blue Devils, which well, at least one piece is coming back to Durham. Tyrese Proctor coming back announced earlier today that or yesterday I should say uh, that he'll be returning to the Blue Devils Jared McCain Kyle Filipowski two expected first round picks today put out their announcements around the same time don't think that was a coincidence that they'll both be departing Duke after Kyle Filipowski two years on campus Jared McCain one year on campus that's about as good as you could hope for if you're Duke. Uh, I, I know there was some uh, holding out hope that maybe Jared McCain would just love Duke so much and would want to play with Cooper Flag that he would come back. Uh, but that, that, you know, top half of the first round, top 20 picks in the first round, not many guys are turning that down to return to campus. So Tyrese Proctor returning actually kind of threads the needle, which is where I want to start this conversation. Uh when you are Duke and you're recruiting five stars pretty much exclusively, you need players to thread the needle between not being too good so they go pro, but also not being too bad that they feel like they won't have as big of a role next year and hit the transfer portal. And Tyrese Proctor is just walking right down the middle of that fence. He was supposed to be a first-round pick. Some early season struggles and a little injury made that so that's not the case. However, he still increased his points per game, his assists per game, his shooting percentage, and his three-point percentage. So he's probably locked into a starting role next year for Duke. So he's coming back. Kyle Filipowski came back last year. Similar situation. Injury probably made it so he wasn't so good that he was an obvious lottery pick. But his production was such that he was definitely going to be a starter. So he came back for his sophomore year. It's, it's ironic that if you want to have a veteran team at Duke, you need a couple guys to not live up to their potential, but also not fall so bo far below their potential that they want to leave. It's a really weird thing to root for as a team, especially when you look at the last two years of the John Shire era. And it's pretty obvious that one of the reasons they didn't achieve the big and lofty goals that they set for themselves is because they didn't have the veteran guile uh, at, a, at a position group, right? Even if you think Jeremy Roach brought it this past year, they didn't have it in the post. And in previous years, and maybe even going back to the last few of Coach K, they may have had it in the post and not in the, the, the perimeter. You look at the teams that made the runs in March, they had veterans go back a hundred years, maybe not hundred, go back 20 years. Everyone filling out their bracket. The, the biggest cliche was you need veteran guards. You need upperclassmen guards. And you, you, right. If you didn't know who was on uh, Winthrop or, or McNeese state or whoever, you just look up their rosters, go, Ooh, they got four seniors playing their minutes in the, in the, the backcourt. That's my 12 seed over a five. Uh, Duke has had a really hard time getting that recently because they're either good or they're not, and there's no one playing that middle ground. Jeremy Roach has done it for four years. He might be coming back again. Not good enough to be a lottery pick. Not bad enough to lose his starting position. He might be a five-year starter. All right, Tim. So you've got me hanging on by a thread here in terms of Duke and where I've seen them and position them as a program. Mm -hmm. It is an elite program. So you <laughs> naturally gravitate yourself towards quote unquote, five star players. This was an argument and you bring up the good argument about veteran talent with mm -hmm. veteran back, veteran backcourts. It's always the two guards. I swear it's two guards, somebody middle and somebody big in the middle who can handle all their business. The way Duke recruits and the way the pressure, the pressure is you are almost expected to land five star recruits to where if you bring in a three star workhorse type guy, that that's not what is expected of you as a fan base. But let's think about those workhorse three-star type guys. Those are the guys that you're just talking about. Those are the glue guys that allow those five-star guys to be those five-star guys. And so Duke finds itself standing on the outside in the Elite Eight this year, mm -hmm. right? And they look at the NC State team. I'm not trying to compare the two in that direct sense, but – Three star One's guys, older right? than the three other. star yeah, guys, yeah. right? Three star guys, not the five star guys coming straight out of school or whatnot. And programs were always built on the backs of the workhorses, right? The five star guys are there for the flash, yep. but it's all the dirty work guys, the guys that aren't the top 100s and the top 50s. Those are the guys that bring you the championships, at least from where I always sit. Well, the, 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 it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that because based on the way I probably presented it and you just broke it down. The obvious solution is you recruit three top 10 recruits in the country and two 
ranked in the 200s and say, all right, there's our workhorses, there's our flash, and, and these guys will stay for three years and these guys will go pro. But the fact of the matter is if the, the three stars aren't playing enough, they transfer out, right? The the Alex O'Connells of the world that Duke did bring in and wasn't super heralded. However, uh, you know, he ended up finishing his career elsewhere. It's the hard part is getting them to stay four years knowing they could, you know, quite the, bag, frankly, the bag is out there. Or they could go somewhere else right. and, 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 be, and be the flash, or they could stay at Duke and be the workhorse. And it's, it's, that's where like somebody like Tyrese Proctor is threading the needle perfectly because he's, Still, if he develops an outside shot, maybe a little bit faster of a first step, which are two things, you know, weight room and, and time in the gym can help. He might still be an NBA first round pick right now. He's not, but he's definitely obviously a top end starter in the ACC. So he's still around and they didn't necessarily recruit over him, which is tough for somebody like Mark Mitchell, who hit the transfer portal because he's looking at the minutes at the three going, well, Cooper flag is going to take all of those. I'm going to go somewhere and be more of a priority. The, the, the transfer portal, right? And we talk about this all the time on this show, the re-recruiting that needs to happen every single year, right? It's not enough just to get a good player on campus. You have to get him on campus and then immediately start persuading them that next year they should still be on campus, which is, which is tough. The hard part about that is so many conversations are about two things, money and playing time. I think the NIL deal will take care of itself. You either have it or you don't. Playing time is a really tough one to sell somebody when you're bringing in a better recruit over them or they didn't play a ton this year and you're trying to sell them on if you do these things, you can play when there are promises elsewhere. Uh, it Actually, it's very similar to the NIL conversation in that we've heard coaches in the past say, I don't promise them anything, right? I tell them if they come here, we have support. And if they play well, we can work with getting them uh, cash which sounds great. And everybody's like, that's the right way to do it until your rival is saying, we'll guarantee you 200 grand. And then it's like, all right, we're losing all of our recruits. We have to start guaranteeing. Duke can always give you the work hard, try hard. We'll, then you'll find a, a way onto the court until somebody else says, if you come here, you're a starter and you're getting 20 shots a night. It's a completely different beast. So Jared McCain, Kyle Filipowski going pro, you're never going to stop that. If you bring in good guys, they're going to go pro when they can make millions and millions of dollars. The Proctor threading of the needle isn't something that happens often. So if you bring back Proctor and Roach, two guys that are threading that needle, find a veteran big on the transfer portal. You have three contributors that have been in, in college basketball for three, four years, five years in, in Roach's case. That might be the year you go all in when you mix it with, you know, Cooper Flag and, and Malawash and, and Evans and Harris and the rest of the number one recruiting class in the country. So I, I think the news over the past 24 hours for Duke is actually as good as they could hope for and might set them up for a, a pretty successful run next year. We, we actually brought up, ironically, Paul brought up uh, the NC State team as a comparison. Yesterday, he was able to talk with DJ Horn, who was a member of that NC State team. We promised you a conversation with DJ Horn yesterday. We're going to make good on that promise when we come back. Paul sat down with DJ Horn yesterday. You'll hear that interaction coming up next right here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. Paul Ihander here with 99.9 The Fan with Sammy Hanna out here at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Spring Open House through 5 o'clock today and on Saturday. That would be tomorrow, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. But, hey, I think today is a good time to come out here, join the party, and uh, see what you guys have when you come inside. You can help everybody outside, Sammy. We're here for our homeowners. It's, it's a great day to come out, take a break. All my sales reps are here. We've got manufacturer's reps here. Um, we're here to help you with your home improvement needs. Um, it's just a good time to get together. We've got our, uh, our box for our drawings. We're giving away lots and lots of prize money. So just come out, meet and greet, and we're here to help you with your home improvement needs. Through 5 o'clock this afternoon, come on out here. Aluminum Company of North Carolina, 1335 Hamlin Road in Durham. Through 5 o'clock today, tomorrow, Saturday, April 13th. 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Paul Ihander here for 99.9 The Fan, checking in with you later on this afternoon. My kids call me Tom. <laughs> so unnerving. Every day, the older one's like, how you doing, Tom? I go, hey, I'm not your f***ing stepdad, all right? I wish I was. It'd be a lot easier, but I'm not. From his multiple Netflix specials, comedian Tom Segura brings his new tour come together to PNC Arena Raleigh April 14th. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com or PNCArena.com. It's bow time. 
Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bo's Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bo's Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new bird dog. A season to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. It's playoff time in the NBA and the NHL. Baseball's in full swing, and FanDuel is your place to bet on every game. Adam Gold here, and right now, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you make your first $5 wager because you know me. Go to FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to get started. FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. Then you can bet on anything, slap shots, home runs, slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. $200 in bonus bets await when you place your first $5 wager. Visit FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. FanDuel is America's number one sportsbook. Must be 21 and older and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only, $10 deposit required. Bonus is issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. At WakeMed MyCare 365, we deliver convenience others only talk about every day of the year primary care and urgent care under one roof. Multiple locations, virtual visits, walk-in or schedule an appointment online. From annual physicals and routine care to sinus infection, strep, or the flu, we couldn't be more convenient. Learn more about our kind of care and our kind of convenience at wakemed.org. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Mitchell Heat. I'm Drake May, quarterback at UNC. Trust the team at Mitchell Heating and Cooling for your HVAC needs. Together we win. Call Mitchell Heating and Cooling today. Contact us now at MitchellHVAC.com or 919-556-5069. Train. It's hard to stop a train. Tim Donnelly here for my friends at Zero Res. April showers bring May flowers. Well, how about this? Sitting on your couch in March brings crumbs and stains and spills on your carpet in April. That's where Zero Res comes in. Get your carpets cleaned. Not only is indoor air quality an issue year-round, but especially now that allergens and pollens are coming out of hibernation to invade your home. Get them all, the dust, the dander, everything out of your house using Zero Res. Get three rooms of your carpet Zero Resified starting at just $105 and if you get your air ducts cleaned, they'll clean your dryer vent for free. That's a $165 value. Call my friends at Zero Res right now. 919-995-0000 or go online at ZeroResNC.com and say you want the 99.9 The Fan special. Zero Res. Spell it backwards or forwards. It spells the same and your your house will smell clean the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan we are continuing live from the aluminum company of north carolina spring open house it's open until five o'clock today if uh, you can't make it out here by five that's fine they're open tomorrow for the open house it continues 8 a.m to 4 there'll be free lunch snacks uh, opportunities to win uh, gift certificates and of course they can give you the quotes and and the uh, advice and, and information you need regarding windows and siding and everything else that they provide uh as i said before the break uh paul Paul Ihander, who's out here with me, 
company at the aluminum company spoke with dj horn yesterday and we wanted to pass that conversation along yeah it was a great honest interview with dj his parents uh, came by the studios just really opened up about just the uh it's a little bit different of an interview tim it's not so much more about basketball but a little bit more about dj <laughs> kind of getting into his head a little bit about just this run that the state team made and uh, we had a little fun towards the end of it as well, trying to dig into a little bit of the NC State team that you may not have seen because we were so focused on their on-court play. So, DJ Horn, take it away. DJ Horn sitting in the chair. First of all, DJ, as we get things kicked off, you've done a million interviews, a million questions thrown at you. You've sat in front of things that have your name printed on them and just people holding up phones to your face asking you questions. What's the one question you are tired of answering? Uh, I mean, you know, no question, especially during this crazy of a run, has been too crazy of a question or a question that I won't answer. But uh, I will say um, the question of, like, you know, how are you feeling right now, you know, has been something that I've been constantly asked. And uh, it's just been something that I haven't been able to put in words. So it's been, you know, a little frustrating to, you know, try to process it. But, um, you know, now that the season is over and everything, I'm starting to, you know, have a lot more of those feelings and everything, so I might give a better answer, but uh, I would say that one. <laughs> All right, so what's the one question you wish you had been asked? In this entire magical run, this entire season, coming from Arizona State, you know, leaving in and out for cookout, now, now, that, now that you're here, what's the one question you would hope people had asked you? Um, I know I'm making you think now. <laughs> it's okay question I wish they would have asked me probably would have been um if you leave Arizona State it's a guarantee you know ACC championship you know are you ready to leave and uh I think I would I would definitely say the same thing as I would, uh, did back then yes but uh just knowing that I would you know have this um as be the end goal here you know um it would have been a no-brainer then too so uh I'll say that you have to check yourself a little bit as you come home, right, to play ball. You see this run that this team makes, the team that you grew up around watching, you know, young and whatnot, and you come here. How do you keep yourself grounded beyond the two other people that are standing in this room with your parents who happen to be wearing your face on their chests and stomachs right now? Uh, yeah, you know, it was definitely uh, a challenge to stay grounded, but, you know, having parents the, uh, like I do, it was – uh, the job was a lot easier um but you know just uh being back home i knew it was going to be a lot of attention just from friends uh this is where i grew up and everything so it's home for me um and just you know during the or the run that we had um you know coach keats was good with keeping us grounded um i knew that this was my last year and um i wanted to be as focused as possible knowing that you know this was my last chance to go out there and, and uh play collegiate basketball so um uh i was i was pretty hard on myself with you know not trying to let all the you know attention get to me cuz i didn't want to lose any focus to not be there for the moment dj horn joining us here uh, dj for state and you coming home and you seeing what this team has meant to this town, what now you guys have in terms of being able to take a new generation into what it's like to be part of the Wolfpack and to have that excitement. What does that mean to you personally? To me, you know, it means everything. It's it's the ultimate reason why I came home. Um, and to know that I'll be etched in history and my hometown forever and to be a, a big reason on why the community and the school and everybody came together and um, you know, during that run, you know, they I heard a lot of the it feels like '83. Um, it, it just you know it felt good to bring that much joy and happiness to everybody and see you know how everybody could come together for one for one thing. So to look deep into your heart, and I like to ask this question of a lot of athletes who see success and and will transcend to yet another level. I'm sure you hope and dream of those things, yeah. and we can talk about that too. But if you could go back and you could stand next to five year old you picking up a ball, shooting at the little tykes hoop or shooting yeah. at the big hoop or whatever it is, and mm -hmm. you're looking at younger you, what are you saying to younger you at that point, knowing what you know now? Uh, yeah, I would just tell my younger self to stay down. You know, everybody has their time. And, um, you know, if you just stay down and stay true to yourself, you know, that's that's all you really can do. And, um, you know, just seeing the way my whole story played out, um, you know, that's the, 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 big, the biggest message that I could give to anybody 
um, especially, you know, if I could go back and tell my younger self something. So um, stand down and just stand true to yourself. You've told all the stories, and we've heard all the stories about, you know, night one, night two, night three, you know, survive in advance. And I, I had moved it into a thrive in advance yep. for you guys and to be able to take the steps that you did. The light bulb moment for this team. Did it happen midseason? Did it happen postseason? Did it happen? Was what was written on the whiteboard at the beginning of the season the same motto at the end of the season for you guys? Yes, I will say it, it was. Um, you know, Coach Keats was a, a big, firm believer in us going out there and having fun with everything we do. Um, before every game we go out there, that's the last thing that he'll write on the whiteboard is to have fun. And, uh, you know, up until the last game, that was, you know, the, always the message. So, um I would say, you know, going into the, the ACC tournament, we definitely had, you know, meetings as a team and everything. And um, Keats was, again, the, the ringleader and all of that, uh, keeping the vibes positive and everything when, you know, things were looking, you know, not too good and lose the last four of the regular season and everything, um, you know. But he, he definitely let us know that this is a brand new season. Everybody has new life. And, uh, you know, there was no better time for us to come connected as a, a team than uh, the – the time that we did so uh, that's what March is for so snap judgments for you I like to throw a few things out there to see what think who had the best hair on the team this year the best hair on the team this year I would say me my hair was always done up <laughs> in some nice styles you know? <laughs> shout out to Melanie <laughs> uh, who had the proper playlist going into every game like if you had to swap a playlist with somebody and swap headphones and go you know what I want to vibe what you're vibing today yeah. who would you have swapped with that's tough I was I would have to go with my boy DJ Burns or Breon Pass why so? Just because, like, you know, DJ, he's always, I feel like we're always, you know, seeing eye to eye, you know, hence the name DJ, DJ. <laughs> uh, and then Breon, you know, he just versatile with the with the playlist. Like, he can hit you with something that gets you a B. He can hit you with this. And he just, he got really everything you need. <laughs> uh, guy, or I, I'm trying to be nice about this one, player who is fashionably challenged. Fashionably challenged, I would say Ernest Ross easily. <laughs> Why? Uh, you know, Ern got some. He he got some questionable uh, pieces of clothing that he has in his closet. Uh, I I would start with uh, all the little fuzzy sweatpants, but uh, you know that's that's Ernest Ross though. He only he could wear that type of stuff. <laughs> uh, choice of ice cream flavor was yours the proper one or? I mean, th this was well documented, right? Ice cream after the wins. Yeah, for sure. You know, mine was cookies and cream. There was, you know, endless of flavors that we would always get, but I was keeping it pretty consistent with the cookies and cream. One motto or one thing that you will always take away from the run that you had here uh, as a member of the Wolfpack? Uh, like my, my people sure say right there, why not us? <laughs> <laughs> Nat, last question for you, DJ. Uh, DJ Horn. Next step for you. Yeah, uh, these next this next step in my basketball journey is definitely not over. Um, you know, uh, I've been taking some time to rest and everything since uh, the the conclusion of my collegiate season. Um, but the next step for me will be declaring for the NBA draft and uh, you know seeing where that process takes me. All right. Well, best of luck to you, and I uh, appreciate the honest answers. Sometimes yeah. you know people put up a little guard, but uh, nah, your guard yeah. definitely down. Although you can guard anybody. Let's just say that. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate, yeah, you. appreciate you guys having me. All right. Once again, that was DJ Horn, NC State men's basketball, with our very own Paul Eihander, uh, a conversation yesterday. Uh, first of all, it's always good to get the kind of window into their lives. Second of all, I said this about Casey Morsell. I've said this about DJ Burns. And now having seen DJ Horn, I, I spoke with him early in the season a few times. It's unreal how they were able to stay the same people through that run. You, you hear it's, – it's almost like uh, – like they're a boy band that hit like a top chart, like <laughs> it's, and and, good. and good. somehow they came out on the other side without all the problems that most people get really famous. They're like they they don't think they're too cool. They're still laughing at themselves. That it's the you know nothing changed. It's it's refreshing to see actually. Maybe it's because they were a very veteran team and had been through the ringer a few times, right? He he being a fifth year senior, but uh, and DJ Burns being a sixth year senior, but um. But again, it sounded that sounded exactly like the player that we spoke to uh, when, let's just say, things weren't going as well during the regular season. We spoke with them when they were they were losing a lot more, and it sounded like the exact same guy. Yeah, you had them unpack therapy uh, mm -hmm. with Graham Hill, and what you see with DJ is what you get. Mm -hmm. There was there was no doubt about it. And again, a lot of it does 
having come with, you know, he he was a portal guy too, mm-hmm. you know, so he's seen he's seen those challenges, saw the battles at Arizona State here now, and he's also he also came home, and, and that's that was something that clearly was special to him. His parents accompanied him, uh, and they were they were the ones that he referenced to wearing the shirts, my people, <laughs> my people, <laughs> saying why not us? And yeah, what you see is what you get with him. There was no doubt about it. Like it, the consistency in the ups and the downs or whatnot, they didn't wear it. They, he talked about staying grounded and just kind of being himself and being true to himself. And you see where it's led him. You see, you see the, the, uh, the town that has embraced him, the city that has embraced him where, you know, as a kid, you grow up with those dreams and you had those two when you mm-hmm. played collegiate ball, Tim. And in, in, for those who, who get to that level, you know, they, they see that, they feel that love. And I think even again, for DJ, I think it was just that much more special that he got to do it, you know, in front of a, in front of a town that, you know, got to see him flourish in other places and he got to show it off at home. I, I do think there's going to be a moment like a month, five weeks from now where, where they look back and go, did that really happen? Cause they're, they're like, they're taking it so in stride. And I just, it's almost like they're going to come out of the submarine at some point and go, Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Like, uh, like they're still on the roller coaster almost, which uh, is, is one way to look at it. Definitely a roller coaster. Uh, right now let's, let's check the live leaderboard from the masters teed up by Trey Burn country club, the triangles golf escape. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau had fallen one stroke off of his pace from yesterday uh, into a tie for first, but he actually just got that stroke back. So he is in first uh, through 12. He's even on the day seven under on the, uh, the event, it, of course, playing much more difficult today than it did yesterday. Um, Max Homa and, and Scotty Scheffler, the betting favorite, are uh, tied for second, both at six under and then a whole host of others at three and four under trying to uh, make up ground. But right now, the, the three guys at the top are DeChambo, Homa, and Scheffler. Uh, if you look at, let me make sure I get the local guys mentioned, Akshay Batia is looking like he's going to make the cut. Uh, tied for 41st, three over through two rounds. He is in the clubhouse. Uh, Grayson Murray had a more of a rough go of it for a, a, another local guy, a, a Raleigh native. And uh, let me look at the two. Wake Forest, both Cam Young and Will Zalatoris played their college golf at Wake Forest, are tied for 13th right now. Cam Young is done for the day. Will Zalatoris, still a lot of golf left to play. Tiger Woods. Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods, what Come am on. I doing? Come on, Tiger Woods. Well, I, I mean, I'm first of all, big Tiger Woods fan. He's going to make the cut. It's 24 straight masters that he played. And is that news to say, Oh, look at this. He's going to make the cut. He's going to break the record for most consecutive made cuts. Uh, He's tied for 29th right now through 17 holes plus one on the tournament, even on the day. Uh, As long as he doesn't mm, quadruple bogey, which if if, if, if it happens, then this clip is going to go wildly viral. Uh, As long as he doesn't quadruple bogey, he'll be playing the weekend, which uh, is an accomplishment, obviously, based on how little he's playing uh, just volume wise and and how, quite frankly, rarely he's playing competitive golf. Uh, There's our Masters update. Listen through the weekend for Masters leaderboard updates presented by Trey Burn Country Club, one of 15 McConnell golf properties where members have reciprocal playing privileges from the mountains to the coast. Trey Burn Country Club, the Triangles Golf Escape. I had a buddy reach out to me yesterday and say, you're talking about my course. Yeah. Hey, there there you go. There you go. Uh, So maybe I'm going to get out there uh, with him and, and, and play a little bit. Uh, right, right now, uh, I want to introduce you to Mark Pope because uh, Mark Pope got the Kentucky coaching job, which it's it, we don't have to pile on because it's it's happening across the internet. Mark Pope was not their first choice, uh, and I think the coaching sh- search that Kentucky just went through should make Duke and Carolina fans so much more appreciative for the hiring processes that led to John Shire and Hubert Davis. I've actually been against like retirement tours. I didn't like that coach K did that. Uh, I grew up in a house where coach K stories, my dad lived in Raleigh during the the building of the Duke program had season tickets. So coach K stories for me were like, uh, you know, Aesop's fables. Like, oh, okay. you, are you right. getting bullied in middle school? Let me tell you about this <laughs> sure. story of the 19, yeah. 1984 and coach K. Um, and, and so coach K, you know, there's positive memories between me and, and, and my parents there. Uh, I did not like that. He went on the retirement tour. I did not like that. He announced I'm retiring next off season. Cause then like, what did you want? The Dean dome to applaud for you? Like 40, 50 years they're going boo. And then, Oh, now I want you to nod in approval. I just don't get it. Uh, however, I will say the fact that they named the coach in waiting, avoided the situation that Kentucky just went through where, 
hey, Dan Hurley, nope. Hey, uh, Billy Donovan, nope. Hey, Scott Drew, nope. Hey, someone else, nope. And that's a very public, embarrassing thing to go through, which sets Mark Pope, who ends up being the guy, uh, back a ton, right? If they would have announced Mark Pope was the guy a year ago, then they'd be coming in as if it's intentional. Now Mark Pope is the guy, and even though he does have a national championship as a player with Kentucky and he was a captain on a national championship team as a player with Kentucky, every recruit in the world, every booster in the world is going, what's up, Mr. Safety Plan? Like, what safety school, right? All, all, you couldn't get into the Ivy League, so now you're coming to the, the state school. You couldn't get into Billy Donovan or, or Dan Hurley, whoever, so now we're going back to the, the safe pick who we knew wouldn't say no. Um, <laughs> I actually saw a a video that I don't know if he can turn it into a positive. It was uh, Mark Pope years after he played. There must have been a big game or you know a road trip or whatever for Kentucky, and he was in a suit, and he was like, "I wish I could be there with my my Kentucky faithful. I'm still rooting for you. I'll show you how much I'm rooting for you." And he ripped off the suit and he had his old playing jersey on, and and he went, "Let's go see," and he made a C A T. S like he was the, like, you know, cheerleaders make it with their arms. Right. And, and it, it's like, okay, this guy would have said yes. If you offered him the, the Kentucky head coaching job for room and board, like he didn't <laughs> even need to get paid. That's how far this thing has fallen. And, and you look at uh Carolina or Duke hiring John Shire and Hubert Davis. I'm not sure they were getting their, their, their doors beat down by head coaching jo job offers across the country, right? I don't know if they were the most attractive pick, but what it seemed like was their team wanted them, right? Coach K handpicked Shire. Hubert Davis had been on the bench for a decade working with Roy Williams, and, and it felt intentional. Nothing about this Kentucky situation felt intentional. You can blame John Calipari for that, bailing in the middle of an NCAA tournament that they weren't a part of, but... I do think it's important to look around and, and it's all relative. There are not many programs that are at the level of a Duke, a Carolina, a Kentucky, Kansas, right? There's a few, but, uh, but it looks pretty botched to me by Kentucky, even though it ended up with someone who, if they would have just convinced me was their first choice, I might've believed them. Well, Kentucky's AD Mitch Barnhart, you know, pulled this. I'm not sure this is a rabbit out of the hat. This might be just scarves. <laughs> more than anything else just based on just based on the reaction it's like your and, uncle that's a ma magician rather than an actual magician right. like it's hey like... i learned a couple of tricks and this is what and this is what i came up with that's now, your other thumb right but just remember the quality of coaching <laughs> out there and the kind of swings that they were taking thinking first of all john calipari again a legend in the game mm -hmm. he's going to take his entire staff with him to arkansas they already kind of said hey listen we're he got that vote of confidence right you're coming back but you know let's let, let's the lukewarm listen. vote of confidence, I think, is why he left. Right. It, well, for sure. No, absolutely. And so if you're a coaching candidate looking at this job at Kentucky, which is now fighting to stay in terms of relevance, mm -hmm. in terms of the quote-unquote blue blood kind of program, again, this is scarves out of the hat for them. Yes, you can – but they were swinging so hard, right? You, mm -hmm. you listed the three names. Yes. Dan Hurley, Billy Donovan, Scott Drew, all with pedigree, all with, all with you know – success National and what championships right and remember Literally. and and remember when scott drew's name first came up for this position it was like oh scott drew <laughs> like it was like really because, so, because it wasn't dan hurley and right, it wasn't billy Donovan. right so what are you exactly you're looking for so if you're looking for pope as the fifth or the sixth character or whatever it happened to be it's i don't think i don't think they settled but you're right they probably should have come out and said this is the guy we would like to be a part of our program because of these things. But we are going to explore our options and go looking for a coach that fits us well because we know that Mark, like these other coaches that we were shopping for, has a current job. It's it's a little um, – there, there's a little bit of tact or, or like, uh, you know, street smarts to how they go about it. Because guess what? I don't think Duke or Carolina could have gotten – this offseason, Dan Hurley or Billy Don – like, why would Billy Donovan leave the NBA to go to college now when everyone's getting out of college because it's so much more difficult and it's so much wild, wild west? Right. Like, I don't think they could have either. But but the thing was, Duke and Carolina, they didn't swing – like, they they had their guy and said, oh, you know, there's still the allure that they could have gotten whoever the hot name was. But no, 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 we have our guy. You know what I mean? Like, UNC, oh, we could have gotten Billy Donovan. But Hubert Davis has been here training for this for the last decade, right? I think it was nine years on the bench. Uh, Duke could have gotten, uh, you know, some NBA coach. But no, 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 no. John Shire is handpicked by Coach K. It's, it's 
when in college basketball right now, so much is about momentum. So much is about buzz. So much is about uh, your Q score, your fame score, because recruiting is changing and transfer portal is changing and, and everything is changing. Uh, you're starting Mark Pope, off, Mark Pope off on the wrong foot by how you handled the hiring process. Meanwhile, John Shire got to walk around and say like, oh, I was handpicked, right? He got to walk right into recruits room and say, uh, they knew I was the guy a year before they needed me to be the guy. And Hubert Davis, the same, right? Roy Williams wouldn't have retired if he didn't know I was taking over the program. Like whether it's true or not, that's how it was painted, which gives them a little bit more of a chest pop when they walk out. Then Mark Pope has to walk in and go, well, I mean, it's cool that, that it's cool that Dan Hurley said no. It's it's fine. I mean, it would be more opportunity for me. Well, One I'm man's trash is well, another man's trash. Well, I'm glad he said no because this is where I went to school, and so you get the parachute, right? Mm-hmm. They have the parachute. He's coming home. He's coming home. Like, but you hope it works out better than say Scott Frost in Nebraska. <laughs> that, I mean, that's that's the trap, right? That's the full trap. And and I will openly admit this. I thought Scott Frost in Nebraska was an unbelievable – I thought they were going to win national championships. I yes. thought it was perfect, and it went to the wrong way very quickly. So I, I could be just as wrong – about. And, and I'm not even saying Mark Pope won't work. I'm saying his job is more difficult based on the way Kentucky hired it, and, and that should make Duke and UNC and other, I don't know, classier uh, hiring processes. You should be more appreciative for them because guess what? N- none of them walked away with – the most accomplished, most uh, buzzworthy name on on that hiring sheet. They all kind of walked away with uh, somebody that played there, had won a lot of games there as a player, and stepped up into the head coaching job. It's just they got there different ways, which is something to note. Uh, By the way, text keyword KING, K-I-N-G, to 919-860-5326 to enter for a chance to win a $25 Smoothie King gift card. That's a $25 Smoothie King gift card. To enter to win, you need to text KING. You need to text KING, K-I-N-G, to 919-860-5326. Football at four is coming up next. We have nine shows until the NFL draft. We're looking at a new position group today. Stick around. We'll tell you which one it is. Hey friends, Paul Eihander with 99.9 The Fan. We are out here at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Spring Open House. It is springtime. It is time to refresh the outside. So you need to come inside to the Aluminum Company, 1335 Hamlin Road in Durham through five o'clock today. I'm here with Ryan Monsine of the Aluminum Company. Ryan, it's a special time of year. We know that Paul has been blowing around. People have been taking those winter storms pretty hardcore. It's time for a refresh, right? Absolutely. You know it's spring because it's our open house season, Paul. So you can come out here, bring us some pictures of your home and we're happy to take a look at anything whether it's windows siding doors roofing gutters the aluminum company can help you help you with all of it we also are giving away thousands of dollars worth of prizes today we have free ice cream um, free fruit, free lunch come out here put your name in for the drawing we're happy to help you with any of your home improvement needs shake a few hands and get some work done on your home the friends out here at aluminum company of north carolina spring house today through five tomorrow eight to four come join me paul eihander for 99.9 the fan evan canty and michelle are unsportsmanlike robert in raleigh listening on 99.9 the fan what's up robert i gotta go leftovers macaroni and cheese michelle i know you don't eat leftovers my wife grew up eating leftovers she'll bake a peach pie from scratch have one piece and then it's old and i've heard you talking about where the best pizza is from if you not had peppies sally's or modern pizza they're all right the there in new haven connecticut, connecticut. Yep. mornings from six to nine on 99.9 the fan the triangle sports leader to tell you that keto picks 20 winning numbers we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up the 10. Keno picks 20. It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Keno from the North Carolina Education Lot. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. America's favorite car show returns to Raleigh with cool cars, cool people, and good times. It's the Good Guys Night, Rio's Garage, North Carolina National. And it's all happening April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Check out over 1,500 of the Southeast's finest classes. Shop to swap meet in Vendor Midway. Experience the metal crunch in Saturday Night Demolition Derby and so much more. And don't miss the return of high octane Good Guys CPV Auto Cross Racing Action all weekend long. It's all going down April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairgrounds. Get details at good-guys.com.
At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every home run, every hit, every inning, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a walk-off grand slam or a base hit to center field, whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 21 plus only must be physically located in North Carolina. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca-Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just $1.79. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Adam Gold here for the one and only Dr. Lori Travers at Travers LASIK. And I had LASIK surgery more than a dozen years ago. And people have asked me, Adam, wasn't that expensive? I'm not sure I can afford that. And I say all the time, well, how much does it cost you every year to get new contacts, to get new glasses, to get prescription sunglasses, to buy all the solutions, do everything you need? Because you're going to lose the glasses, by the way. You're going to lose your prescription sunglasses like you lose every other pair of sunglasses. How much does that cost? Well, what if I told you the 24 24- four months zero financing was available it's more affordable than you think and we're going to kick in a thousand dollar promotion for the spring that's right you'll save a thousand bucks at travers lasik now it seems a lot more affordable it's also painless five minutes per eye you could be back to work the very next day all you have to do is pick up the phone now 919-510-6830 and a thousand dollars off for the spring 919-510-6830 travers lasik sound station and security your automotive and audio experts car audio car video home theater wheels and tires and so much more plus did you know sound station and security offers full service for your vehicle alignments inspection oil changes window tinting and custom exhaust and with a variety of financing options sound station and security can help you get what you need today two locations downtown smithfield and on glenwood avenue in raleigh sound station and security visit myhotsound.com It's Brews, Blues, and Barbecue, Saturday, April 13th from 3 till 9 at Hugger Mugger Brewing in downtown Sanford. And you don't want to miss it. Live bands, a barbecue cook-off, and the beer hall all in one afternoon. Tickets are selling fast. Get yours today at eventbrite.com. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. He scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm meteorologist Anthony Baglione, tracking still a windy forecast through the rest of today. Gusts could be up to about 35 miles an hour with a mix of sun and clouds. We'll see temperatures in the low 70s and another chance of some rainfall coming through this evening. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Four o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones still down 475 points at 37,983. Market update brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. Let's move the chains. Time for football at four. Football at four here on the drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, Every day at four, you can set your watch by it. We're talking about football. And today, uh, we are in, we started it yesterday, a 10-day countdown. It's actually a 10-show countdown uh, because it's 13 days away uh, to the NFL draft. Jeez, really? Which I'm, I'm... Sometimes I'm leery of doing like uh, doing live math on air because I've embarrassed myself that way. It's okay. But when it's a basic, it's it's at it's the 25th. I know that is when the draft starts, okay. and today is the 12th. I think I can do that kind of subtraction. It's we're looking at 13 days away. Uh, we have nine shows left until the NFL draft. So each day we are grabbing one uh, position group for the Panthers and looking at. 
where they stand, how they've improved this off season, and if there is something that we can expect them to do at that position in the draft. Yesterday we did interior offensive line. Today, no one calls it the exterior offensive line. You just call it tackles. Bookends. Uh, but we're looking at the tackles, the exterior offensive line. The Panthers are uh, – they could not be more different at right and left tackle. They're steady at right tackle. They're risky at left tackle. They, they are uh, veteran, highly paid on one, rookie contract, highly drafted on the other. They, they are Taylor Moten at right tackle, Iki Aquanu at left tackle. So Taylor Moten being the, the steady Eddie – you know what you're going to get when he's healthy. You can depend on him. Iki Aquanu is the goodness. I hope this guy plays 110% better than he played a season ago. And if so, that can unlock new levels of the offense. If he plays like he did last year, even if you improve in other parts of the offense, you may not be able to see that, right? Uh, we've already seen them make improvements at wide receiver with Deontay Johnson. Deontay Johnson is getting open downfield, which would be a new thing for a wide receiver for the Panthers. But, Bryce Young is on his back because Ikea Kwanu whiffed on the on his blind side, then you just have an open wide receiver who's grading out well on film, but not actually making any catches. So uh, that's where they stand. That's, you know, the difference they've made uh, this offseason is they signed Yash Nyman as a backup swing tackle. Uh, so if one of them goes down, they're likely backed up by the same guy. The hard part, and I say this about really just two positions in the NFL, the hard part about finding elite tackles is that everyone is looking for elite tackles. Uh, there are not 32 elite blindside protectors on planet Earth at any given time. There are 32 teams that need one and 32 teams that want two. Uh, so, so if there is a team out there that has an elite right and left tackle, check it off. That's another one that is, there's another team out there that doesn't even have a blindside protector. So when it comes to looking at uh, drafting tackles, what you have to acknowledge is this is a very deep tackle draft. There's there. If you listen to the experts, if you pay attention to the people that you trust that cover uh, draft prospects, they'll tell you this is a very deep draft at wide receiver and offensive tackle. Everyone is looking for an elite offensive tackle. So if there's 12 of them that might be elite, there's going to be 12 drafted pretty darn quickly. So I'm, I'm leery to think that there's anyone, a plug and play that'll be available even at 33, which is the first pick the Panthers have right now, the 33rd overall pick, the first pick of the second round. And even if there was, I'm not sure the Panthers don't have more pressing needs elsewhere to, to trump the need for a left tackle. So it's a deep tackle draft. I don't think they can justify taking one in the 33rd or 39th pick. Best thing they can do to help their team on the edges, uh, the edges of the offensive line, could be a lottery ticket at the end of the draft where you draft someone on measurables. You say they're 6'7", 3'10", and run a fast 40, uh, even though their tape doesn't look great and or vice versa. They're, this is going to sound ridiculous undersized at 6'4", 300, and, and have great tape. Like you're finding somebody who everyone else is passing on for a reason, and you're hoping that that reason gets developed out of them over years. That, to me, isn't how the Panthers have been acting this offseason. The Panthers are not acting as if this upcoming year is a rebuilding year. They're kind of going for it. The Jadeveon Clowney signing is not one that's going to make them better in 2027. That's one that makes them better in 2025. Um, all kind of up and down the defense, they've been making deals like that where it's, okay, this makes you better next year rather than three, four years into the future, rather than like, hey, by the time we're paying Bryce Young a bunch of money, we're going to need to be uh, locked and loaded everywhere else. I don't see them changing their tackles very much between now and the beginning of training camp, which means this draft is going to be one where they have seven picks, uh, you know, none in the first round. And there's a lot of, well, it could be a tackle, but it's not. And then the next one, well, it could be a tackle because it's a deep tackle draft and everyone's going to be talking about the best on the board, best available. And they're going to have to go with wide receivers. They're going to have to go with a tight end at some point. They're going to have to go with corners. They're going to have to go with safeties. And, and it's like, if you told me number three on their list for every pick was a tackle where they're like, you know, two or three picks before theirs. All right. Number one is this guy. If he makes it number two is this guy. If he makes it number three might be a tackle on every single pick and they might not take a tackle for the entirety of the NFL draft. It's it's for better or worse. The hay is in the barn. 
which means Iki Aquanu has he's Atlas right now, right? He's those statues of Atlas with the whole world on his shoulders. <laughs> yes. It, it's it's the offense is either going to be significantly better than it was last year because I like Dave Canales as a play caller. I already like their their talent at wide receiver more, and I think they'll add two playmakers in in the 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 draft. Or it's going to be the exact same, despite everything I just said, because Iki Aquanu is holding them back at left tackle. Show the success now, and I'm going to I'm going to add on to your argument and support it just a little bit more. So I, I love in, this kind of add-on. Ter- well, and this is the only <laughs> way I can do it because I'm I'm hearing it and I, I, I'm I'm leaning the way you're doing it. So the way Dave Canales and Dan Morgan have built this team, certainly with the signings in the offseason, what is the best contract in the NFL to have right now? It's having your quarterback on yes. a rookie deal. So you're spending all the money in the next couple of seasons here, two, three, and four, while your quarterback, as you think Dave Canales is the guy, and he told you, Bryce Young's my guy. We're going to work on the footwork. We're going to give. We're going to make sure that we bring in the two tackles, Robert Hunt, Damian Lewis, to give him that. I think it was. I, th- I believe I kept calling it point four, the extra point four seconds he needs to operate. We go get him a speedy receiver. We like what we've got coming back. We're going to spend all this money in years Mm -hmm. two, three, and four, like you mentioned to Davion Clowney, to make that happen now. Not two or three years from now because he's two or three years older. Count on him being healthy and win in a division that everyone keeps going. It's not the greatest division in the history of divisions. There's been a lot of money spent, Tim, on quarterbacks in the NFC South, not on the other positions. Exactly. I was just going to jump in when you said everybody keeps saying the division is bad. I said, well, if their last name's Mayfield, they think there's a there's a pretty uh, sure Mike big Evans. contender yeah, out okay, there. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's. I mean, that's who won this past year, and and I don't think anyone is afraid of the Bucks. Uh, at least you, you shouldn't be if you're an NFL anything because you, I think they're gettable. Uh, and the Saints are having their own problems. Kirk Cousins with the the, the Falcons might be the biggest kind of maybe this turns into something card. I was going to say wild card, but I, I have a hard time calling Kirk Cousins wild. Uh, so so it's like <laughs> the biggest boring card. Um, it, it's, it's, I mean, you're exactly right. right? You build up the, the whole thing and, and you, can, you can watch it happen in real time of the well-run organizations where you have your quarterback on a rookie contract, you pay a bunch of guys a bunch of money around him that you're not paying the quarterback. Then once you pay the quarterback, you have to start taking things away one at a time, right? You uh, have Patrick Mahomes on a, on a rookie contract and we'll use the chiefs as the best run organization. Uh, recently, they have the, the trophies to prove it. And you have Kelsey and you have Hill and you have MBS and you have, uh, you know, a herd of, of running backs, even if they are all aren't great, a couple offensive linemen, Wiley is like a backup. Then you pay Patrick Mahomes a whole bunch of money. Take away Tyree kill. Can he still do it? Okay, uh, what if we give him a seventh-round rookie running back? Can he still do it? That's Isaiah Pacheco. What if we take away Wiley as the backup offensive lineman? What if we take away this guy as the offensive lineman? Can he still do it? And, of course, every time Patrick Mahomes is asked, can he still do it, he's, he said yes. But that's the life cycle. So right now the Panthers are in the part where he's supposed to have Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey and MVS and Juju Smith-Schuster. And like he's supposed to have everything around him right now before you start seeing if he can't. The Panthers started him off with, what if we gave him nothing? Can he do it? <laughs> and he went, no, or kind of, I guess would be the answer there. Um, the the interesting part is in this big spending spree, they spent interior offensive linemen, and they're going to spend wide receiver. We we've, were pretty confident of that, at least in the draft. They didn't spend on left tackle, which the previous gen, uh, organization, previous regime, the Scott Fitter, uh, other side of it, they did on Iki Aquanu. So the bet, even by this new regime, is still on Iki to be the guy. It's still, you know, and, and I said this on the air a couple of days ago, you have to place your bet somewhere. You can't have a sure thing at every single position as much as you'd like to be. You'd have to place your bet somewhere. They're placing a pretty big bet on Iki Aquanu being much better, particularly in pass protection, because he's a road grader. He can, he can move guys against their will in a, in a directly back uh, orientation, right? That, like direction. That's run blocking. Pass protection, he's, he's not as great, particularly the communication of it all. So they're making a pretty big bet that he's going to be able to make it happen. And, uh, and I don't think they're going to give him help in, in, a, uh, in, a, in a draft pick. I don't think they're going to give him a, a safety net. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We're going to take a break. When we come back, the postseason is looming for the Canes. We talked about their game with the Blues earlier today. I asked this question heading into the postseason. Does Rod Brindamore have something to prove? Stick around. 
Hey friends, Paul Eihander here from 99.9 The Fan with Sammy Hanema. We are out at the Aluminum Company open house here in Durham, 1335 Hamlin Road through 5 o'clock today, but back again tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm standing in the middle of the showroom with you here, Sammy, and when I think of the middle of your showroom, I think inspiration. Well, I appreciate that, Paul. Yeah, it is inspirational. We've, it's plenty to see. We've got all the products on display. We've got our salesmen here to help with any homeowner concerns. We've even got our manufacturers rep to help educate everybody that comes in on any product you're thinking about. We're still here till five o'clock today. Come out, meet, greet. Unfortunately, the food and ice cream is done for the day, but we're back here tomorrow again in full swing. If you can't make it today, please put on your counter to come out tomorrow, and we're here to help you. Bring a picture, grab some inspiration out here at Aluminum Company, the open house through five today, tomorrow, eight to four. It's a great place to be, 1335 Hamlin Road in Durham. Come check it out. Paul Eihander here with 99.9 The Fan. Get crazy Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. Orloff, he scores! Dimitri Orloff, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch with Adam Gold. 7.30, puck drop at 8. Second chance, they score! Yes, Perk Bost knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose bird dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose bird dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two Bird Dogs for just $5 or a two Bird Dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's Bird Dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's bow time. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. The people who refuse to make trade-offs in life. Like Kelly, when her old car insurance got so expensive that she couldn't afford to drive anymore, do you think she started carrying her groceries for miles? No. But she did find Direct Auto savings that allowed her to drive instead of compromise. With savings of up to 25%, you too can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a quote today at directauto.com. Savings based on applied discounts and will vary. Terms apply. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Princeton Sales. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. Now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code Code Tim D, T I M D, no spaces, and bet $5. They'll receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code Tim D and bet $5 to get $200 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8 777 185 543 or visit more than a game. .nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance deposit and eligibility restrictions apply terms at draftkings.com slash sportsbook slash NC NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license if you need bold banners to boost your business but you're on a budget think Staples posters flyers signs and menus for less think Staples Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward now at Staples save $50 on your print purchase of 150 or more same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by new and all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 61, visit staples.com slash print for details. DQ presents <laughs> the sound of BOGO free blizzard treats in the DQ app. It's the sound of downloading the DQ app, redeeming the sweetest BOGO free blizzard deal, telling all your friends.
and heading to DQ. For BOGO free any size blizzard treats only in the DQ app for a limited time. Download it today. At participating locations, limitations apply. DQ. Happy tastes good. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It's about that time, everybody. It's your chance to see the storm surge in person. It's time to qualify somebody for our 10K playoff payout. Right now, be caller number 9 to 919-860-5326. Everyone watching on any of our, our live stream options saw, saw Paul holding up nine fingers just to make sure everybody was aware. Caller number 9 to 919-860-5326. You'll have a shot to win playoff tickets and perhaps a share of $10,000. I always feel like I have to say the $10,000 with like $10,000. That's a lot of money. Call it darn right. Caller number nine to 919-860-5326. And if you don't get through or you're not that's, caller number that's nine, it. that's it. So you got to call in right now. There's uh there is no tomorrow for you. Uh, while Graham figures <laughs> out. Oh, wow. Well, that's a, <laughs> that's a, a, whenever Graham's producing the show, for some reason, uh, movie quotes pop in. That's from the replacements. Yes. There's no tomorrow for you people. And that makes you very dangerous people. Uh, I don't know how that applies to our 10K playoff payout, but (laughs) call in right now, 919-860-5326. Hat tip, Shane Falcon. Uh, While while, uh, Graham figures out who's caller number nine, I'll remind you that we are live today from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina for their spring open house. Uh, Today's open house goes on for about another 40 minutes, but if you can't make it out here to Durham, 1335 1335 Hamlin Road. If you can't make it out here today, uh, they'll be back at it again tomorrow, beginning at 8 a.m. There will be uh, Bojangles in the morning, free lunch uh, around lunchtime, free ice cream lunchtime into the, the evening. A lot going on out here, in addition to uh, some very, very uh, helpful people from the aluminum company willing to uh, talk to you about everything you need on your house, siding, uh, gutter helmets, and, and everything else. The questions you have, they can answer them. And they encourage you to bring photos of your, your house, what you currently have, and they'll provide you with an estimate, plus they can provide special financing. There's also a gift certificate drawing uh, where first place is $2,500. That's, uh, that's what we have going on. Uh, Graham is telling me we have a caller uh, on the line. Graham, I, I can't read uh, where <laughs> I can read. I can't read where you're writing it unless it is. Is it uh, is it Brennan? Is that who we're talking about? No, no, that's that's from yesterday. Today on the line, we have Jeff from Fuquay Verena. Jeff from Fuquay. Jeff, thank you very much for calling in. Are you there? My pleasure. Yes, I am. All right. Uh, we, we, we ask a question. I don't know if you've been tuning in all week. We ask a question that we try to make very straightforward for you. And if you get it right, you are qualified for the 10 K playoff payout. Are you ready to roll? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. What is the name of the arena that the Carolina hurricanes play in? PNC arena. There you go. You didn't overthink it, which I very much appreciate. Well, it was an easy one to do. I do a lot of games there. (laughs) <laughs> well, well, good. You you might. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have a shot to win some playoff tickets, so maybe you'll have uh, another one on, on the way. But uh, thank you for calling in. Thank you for getting the question right. Stay on the line. Graham has some uh, some questions he needs to ask you to make sure you're ready to roll for the 10K playoff payout. But congratulations. I appreciate it, fellas. Go Canes. There you go. I like when it, when a obvious Canes fans gets the chance. Uh, this 10K playoff payout driven by your Carolina Ford dealer for great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. That transitions us right into the question I asked before the break, which is, does Rod Brindamore have something to prove? I want to be very clear on something before uh, the Twitter lights up and the, the lines and everybody's mad. You can be very, very, very good and still have something to prove. I'm, I'm, the, the question isn't, is his job in, in jeopardy? The question isn't, is he the right guy to lead the, cane, lead the Canes? It's more like, is he Peyton Manning in Indianapolis, right? Is, is it, you've done everything in the regular season. Can you win the big one? You still have to prove that. Is that where Rod Brindamore is? Because... You know, the, the the stats that make it seem like they're in perfect position to go win a cup are also the stats that kind of make it seem like there's reason to worry if they're going to win the cup. Uh, 
They have three straight 50-win seasons, this being their third. That's a wildly unbelievable regular season accomplishment. Every other team that's won at least three consecutive seasons of 50 wins has a Stanley Cup during that time. So so there is, I think, something to prove there, right? And and then you add in the the side parts, right? You add in the 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 nuance, which is his system, which he is known for, is exhausting. It is not the easiest one to play. You hear about it when uh, veteran defensemen are brought in. It takes them 15 or 20 games to get used to the effort, the all-out, the the leaving everything on the ice every night nature of the, of their system. What else is pretty exhausting? Postseason hockey. You hear it from everyone that's ever played postseason hockey. It's exhausting. The intensity is up. You have to leave everything out there on the ice every night. If you multiply those, maybe the exhaustion becomes a little bit real. Uh, my 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 point in asking this question is, we talk about like, and we've done it a bunch this week. We've talked about Andrei Svechnikov. He has to play great in order for them to reach their ceiling. Yesterday, we called out uh, Jack Drury as somebody that can take this Canes team if he's producing points, you know, on that quote unquote fourth line, if he's producing points, he can take them from, you know, bonfire to throwing gasoline on it. And now it's, you got to call the fire department. Uh, like, like it's, it, there are players that we look at and we've called out. I don't know if calling out is the term, but I do look at Rod and say, there, there's, there's not much you haven't done, but the thing you haven't done is when the biggest games in the biggest moments and and we do it for players right the the player who is great but can't win the big one is a cliche that gets talked about almost too much uh so it's only fair that we look at a coach and say you made the playoffs now six six consecutive years uh you've gotten a little bit better each time but that little bit better has only gone to a point um it's the unfairness of sports. I want that to be clear. And what I mean by that is uh, I would never in a million years consider moving on from Rod. I'm not, you know, if, if you listen to the show and, and hopefully many of you have, have gotten to know my Kane's thoughts by now, um, I'm a huge Rod Brindamore fan. At the same time, you know, what you haven't done is what you haven't done until you do it, right? My, my, uh, my, my, one of my coaches used to yell until you're beaten, you're undefeated. And what that meant was uh, what he meant by it. And he would have to explain it to us because it does sound a bit Yoda like uh, until you're beaten, you're undefeated is you can have a bad play, right? That doesn't mean you lost the game, right? Until you're beaten, you're still an undefeated team. So the, the little things matter and you have to focus on them. But once they happen, move on from them. Uh, Rod Brindamore, until you win the big one, you're still a coach that hasn't won the big one, right? The little things matter. All of the accomplishments you 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 tallied up in the regular season over the past however many years are impressive, and they matter. But until they add up to a Stanley Cup, there's going to be something missing. So he hoists he has a cup right now oh. as a player. <laughs> yes, I, sh- I should a- I should have clarified that all of that was as a coach. Right, but I'm but I'm not I'm only saying that because we have a. In, within the studios where we have, there's a giant uh, newspaper picture of him holding up Stanley <laughs> Cup. We all know about Rod I have, Brindamore. I have two different Rod Brindamore but, posters right, in my cubicle. Right, but here's what I want. I want you to chew on this one, and I think I know where you're going with this, but I want you to chew on this one mm-hmm. because I did work in Las Vegas for a, for a long time, and I understand how that team went, and they have a cup, mm-hmm. okay? Winning seasons every single season, right? Mm-hmm. The Vegas Golden Knights went to the Stanley Cup in year one. Now, that was magic. That was a magical ride. Gerard Gallant was the head coach of the Vegas Golden Knights when they went to the Cup in year one. Mm-hmm. It took them – they went to postseason. They kept going to postseasons, made trades, and went to the postseason, but didn't win it. Vegas Golden Knights make a change. They change out Gerard Gallant, who is now the coach mm-hmm. of the Rangers, went to the Rangers, for Peter DeBoer. Again, the NHL coaching carousel is weird. <laughs> it's the same, It's the same like, 100 guys. A little retro They action. all just keep coming back around. Pete DeBoer comes in. Pete DeBoer coaches. Again, they win, but they can't win the big one. They cannot get past anybody getting into – they fall short. They fall short in the conference finals. Mm -hmm. They make another change. This is a winning franchise, right? I mean, young franchise, but they have now gone through three separate coaches. And finally, Bruce Cassidy 
takes them. And again, they had they played like eight different goalies. I'm exaggerating. <laughs> but they played like four only a little bit. They played like... four different goalies, <laughs> but they won a Stanley Cup. But it it was a hard choice for them to do because the public out there, when it comes to the hockey, and the same fans are here in Carolina, and I know it. They are looking at this team, and they are looking at themselves, and they're looking at Las Vegas, and they go, they have a cup within six years. And they made two full coaching changes with coaches that won. The specialness that comes with Rod Brindamore is that he was a homegrown player. And you and I talked earlier about Mark Pope yep. going to Kentucky and Scott Frost going to Nebraska and being able to take them to that next level. There's no doubt that Rod Brindamore is a successful coach in the NHL. But falling short of success this year, based on everything that we've heard, and you had Don Waddell on your mm -hmm. program talking about, hey, we've pushed in. We think we have the nuts to go in and make this happen. Here's the better question. Does Rod Brindamore get a statue if he doesn't get a Stanley Cup <laughs> as a head coach? Because that's what you're looking for. And it sounds like blasphemy, and I know where you're going, and I, I understand the argument with this. But we have seen recency, recency bias, right? But it has worked in Las Vegas. Two full coaching changes, no losing seasons, and they have a cup to prove it. The the it's a great point. And by the way, like Vegas, the the ownership and everything was praised now that they've won one for being willing to always do whatever it takes to win and you know, being comfortable being uncomfortable make and big moving trades yes. and make big moves. And and they every year are all in and and most fans just want their teams to operate that way where every year they're doing everything you can and and the Canes have not done that until this year. Uh, which is different, right? The Canes are always willing to make the big trade at the deadline to bring somebody in. Uh, the Canes, uh, uh, the, sorry, the, the Knights are always willing to make the big trade. The Canes, this is really the first year that Gensel trade felt different. It was a rental. It was a, a go win now. So I, I don't know if it's exactly apples to apples, but here, here's, here's what I say in, in response to that. And it's why I think the Peyton Manning argument was good. You have to decide whether he's Peyton Manning and he hasn't won the big game or whether he's Philip Rivers and he's never won the big game, right? It's And no disrespect to the NC State legend. I'm just saying, like, you don't want to get caught on a, a treadmill of mediocrity where you're too good to move on from but never good enough to get over the hump. But you also have to acknowledge when a bad breaks or it was this or was that, and that's why it hasn't happened. I believe Rod Brindamore is more on the, the Peyton Manning side of it, which is he's really gosh darn good and he will get one. But even in that case, like, you still got to prove it, right? Even in that case, I'm still going into every postseason. You have a chip on your shoulder. You better be, uh, you know, doing absolutely everything you can, and, and you better be trying new things, and you better, uh, you know, the, the, the differences. And, I, and I'll just stick with that same example. The Colts put together a defense that was top 10 in the, con or top 10 in the league, and they won a Super Bowl. Up until then, they didn't have it. This is the year where Rod Brindamore's defensive system now has the offensive firepower. They bring in Gensel, they bring in Kuznetsov, and and obviously some guys have leveled up, Seth Jarvis and a few others. It's it's this is the first year to me where there truly is I don't want to say no excuse, but it's like if you don't do it this year, you start to to ask more questions. No questions are being asked right now. Even though Literally, the question I started with is, does he have something to prove? It's different questions. The questions have different uh, different vibes, I guess, uh, if you don't win this season. And also, and I'll throw this out there. You know, I'm uh, everyone I know that follows hockey says the, the Stanley Cup finals are more of a crapshoot. I don't know if that's the, – not the Stanley Cup finals. The entire Stanley Cup playoffs are more of a crapshoot. I don't know if I'm buying that because it does seem like the 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 greats always get their handful of cups before they they move on. I, I don't know if that is, you know, just if you're good for 12, 15 years, you're going to get your three. But but the Canes need to get their one because they've been good for five or six years, and and that's kind of the the, the, the time frame, right? If you're good for six years and you don't get one, you start asking why. The Canes were, I mean, uh, the 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 Knights. You brought it up, right? You're looking at. Six years, right? Six and, years. And and you get your one. If you're good for twelve years, you get your two. Is is it is it six to one? Is that the ratio? Uh maybe, but but uh the question the question of does Rob Rod have something to prove to me is a yes. The question is, are there other questions to ask beyond that? My answer is not yet. But Maybe there will be one day. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Time to update you on what's going on at the Masters. 
Check the live leaderboard from the Masters, teed up by Trey Byrne Country Club. The Triangle's golf escape. Looking at the uh, the top, it's still Bryson DeChambeau. He is uh, through 14, even on the day, one stroke clear of uh, – it is a great leaderboard. Let's Ma- go. Max Homa and Scotty Scheffler are tied for second, one stroke off the lead. Uh, Max Homa's in the clubhouse through round two. Scheffler's on the eighth. So he's chasing DeChambeau eight holes back, one stroke back, which is going to be a, a really exciting deal. Uh, and then other places, I mean, Morikawa is tied for sixth. Uh, Ludwig Ludwig Aubert, who's one of the very trendy picks, is tied for eighth. Patrick Cantlay tied for eighth. Uh, Matt Fitzpatrick, a major winner, tied for eighth. Uh, there's a lot of guys that can get really, really interesting on this, uh, this leaderboard. And uh, as we said earlier, we'll give you the Woods update. Tiger Woods tied for 25th. Has not played golf really at all this season. He is tied for 25th in the clubhouse after the second round. The the doubters out there are having to eat some crow today. Uh, and by the way, there's you, you can go find it. There's clips on social media of him getting icy hot applied to his back in the middle of the round. And when he lifted his shirt, there's wraps and bandages and everything. The guy is quite literally being held, held together. Maybe not quite literally. Quite figuratively being held together by duct tape and chewing gum. And... Uh, and he's going to make the cut at the Masters by a, a considerable margin, not on the number for the 24th consecutive time. Give that guy his flowers. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm a big Tiger fan, and I know everybody out there has their other things, but give that guy his flowers. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is mock draft season. I love mock drafts. Are you a mock draft guy? I love mock drafts because of the silliness that it comes. So I'm assuming what we're going to talk about is how far Drake may has fallen into the fourth round. We, we did that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there has to be some sort of social media picture of some top five pick that has come out there that has dropped them either out of the first round or into the second round because it happens every year. It's, it's either that or he's now the number one pick. It's, it's, yes. it's one or the other. Because they, they, this is the mock draft industry and it is an entire industry. Uh, you're going to do seven of them. And if they were the same, nobody would click on number two, three, four, five, six, or seven. So you have to change things. So either, like if you're Mel Kuyper, you either intentionally put mistakes in your first one so you can correct them as it goes along, or you put your, your correct one out, then you deviate in the middle, and then you come back to it at the end. That uh, is some tin foil stuff right there. Well, what I mean, it's it's we work in media, yeah. Like no, no, I you, I understand. You, you I need understand, the headline. I understand stirring the pot and skewing things, but don't you think the credibility though of someone who's creating a mock draft, if they intentionally made mistakes, would the o- strip away that credibility? The only one anyone is judged on is their last, because after the 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 draft, right when when the picks actually come in, nobody goes. Let's compare it to your mock draft three from you know bowl season. It's let's compare it to your mock draft with the last one you did two days before the draft, and then you're graded on accuracy there. It's the only one anyone gets gets judged on. I've 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 worn this tinfoil hat for a while. <laughs> I, I've, I've had this conversation quite a bit. Um, you know, Johnny Manziel was the number one pick in the draft at one point. In yeah, time, that was according, pretty according silly, to everybody. Though. That was silly. And it was it was literally like he was a second round pick. Then they did a mock draft where he was number one. Then they did a mock draft where he's 27. And I'm going, you're telling me for two weeks you thought he was the number one pick, and on either side you didn't even think he was a, a top 10 pick? Well, it got a lot of clicks, and it got a lot of discussion. So uh, for the Drake Mays of the world, you need to move them up and down. I tend to look at the less dramatic ones more accurately. You know, you're not going to get clicks if you're like, the hey, the number three defensive tackle, actually a fourth rounder rather than pick 26. So those, I think, are, are more traditional. You just got to have the hook for the headline in between. I don't think Peyton Wilson of NC State is a big enough name nor plays a premier enough position to warrant, I dropped him out of my mock draft. Oh, my gosh, make the headline. You won't believe who's not in my two-round mock draft. So Mel Kuyper just put out his two-round mock draft. Okay. This is round one and round two. Peyton Wilson isn't in it. I had seen Peyton Wilson climb as high as the 40s after originally starting most mock drafts in the third or fourth fourth round. So Mel Kuyper is going back kind of to where we started with Peyton Wilson. Here's why I don't believe Mel Kuyper has anything nefarious here. And, and also, I think he's wrong. If you get a consensus on a player like Peyton Wilson, 
I believe it's going to be much lower than where he actually gets drafted. He is the definition of it only takes one GM to fall in love with you. It only takes one GM to be more uh, comfortable with risk and injuries, right? If you watch his film, he's a first rounder. You add in his injury history, second rounder. You add in that he's two, three years older than most prospects. All right, we're looking at second or third, right? We're looking at a day two pick, but maybe later on. All it takes is one GM to go, you know what? The injuries, I looked at his, you know, our trainers looked at it, said he's fine. Okay, boom, now he's in the 40s again. Or all it takes is one GM to say, you know, he's his tape is so darn good. I don't care if he gets hurt a lot. When he's on the field, he's going to help us a ton. Only takes one GM to say, what do I care about longevity? We're trying to win this year, and I need a starting linebacker in the second round, and there's not many of them. Heck, he might his knees might only last three years, but hopefully we have, you know, one and a half, two rings by then. So bring them in. It only takes one. So if Kuiper is doing his job and he's reaching out to 900 different scouts and he's reaching out to, you know, 30 of the 32 GMs and saying, what do you think about Peyton Wilson? I think he's going to get a lot of mm, third round, maybe, or, oh, he's off our board because we don't draft 24 year old linebackers or, ah, you know, with the injuries, so his tape is great though. What does he do? He goes, all right, he's not, he's not a top two round pick. 85% of the people are telling me there's no shot. But it only takes one in a draft for you to be the 42nd pick. And and by the time – and 42nd is probably a little high. But, you know, I've seen him mocked at pick 50 to the Eagles. That makes a ton of sense to me. The Eagles are trying to win this year. And, and th- there's probably big changes coming if they don't win this year or next year. If, and Howie Roseman is a notoriously uh, independent thinker would be a way to put it. He doesn't care what you think. I'm going to do what I want to do. So so usually, I'll put it this way, usually players like Peyton Wilson with the knocks that Peyton Wilson has on his, on his record get drafted higher than consensus. And if you're a mock drafter putting together a mock draft based on consensus, you're going to be intentionally led astray. And my final point will be this. He's really gosh darn good. The guys with the tape that pops, I think in the room on draft day, your guy was, you know, the person you hoped would fall to you was taking two picks before you and you're scrambling. Well, put this guy's film up. They're going to see him chase down the wide receiver against Notre Dame. And they're going to go, we could go worse than that. Take take him. It pops on draft day in in the meeting room. If anyone is standing on the table for him, which is what they say when, uh, um, you know, a, a scout is is very convinced in a single player. If anyone's standing on the table for for Peyton Wilson, I think they get it across. So I think he's going to be a second round pick, even if Mel Kiper tells me he's not. And that's not a conspiracy theory, although I started this with a conspiracy theory. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Uh, Graham, go ahead and get the bell and the buzzer ready back in the studio, because when we come back, we don't just have bold. There it is. We don't just have bold predictions. We have real, authentic, certified bold predictions coming up next. Hey, friends, Paul Lyhander with 99.9 The Fan here at the Aluminum Company Spring Open House through 5 o'clock today. If you can't make it out today, tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., I'm standing here with Sammy Hanna, the man at Aluminum Company. You're not standing alone, though. you got factory reps. you got June and Joe. I talked to both of them. They're just as friendly as I think you are. And we are all here. It's a family-oriented atmosphere, and we invite everybody to come and join us. We're here till 5 today. If you can't make it today, just put it on your calendar for tomorrow. We're here from 8 to 4 tomorrow. Definitely a great time to come out and enjoy the staff enjoy the atmosphere we've got lunch tomorrow we've got another great food truck coming tomorrow from 11 to 2 ice cream truck from 11 to 2 and you definitely want to get your name in the hat for the free drawings that we're doing grand prize up to $2,500 so please take the time come out and enjoy the, the atmosphere and the family function here and uh, even if you're not interested in any home improvement leads come and have some lunch with us come on out be inspired aluminum company spring open house 1335 Hamlin Road in Durham It's the first day of the first grade, and she found a new best friend. It's a laid-back Sunday afternoon, you wish would never end. The home might taste a bluebell, and good friends gathered round. The good old days are being made right now. 
St. Louis brought the world gooey butter cake. Now Bluebell brings us gooey butter cake ice cream, a cake batter ice cream with a luscious cream cheese swirl and gooey butter cake pieces. Mmm, it's the gateway to the best in pints and half gallons. The good old days are being made right now. The good old days are being made Look for Bluebell ice cream at your favorite grocer. If you can't find it, be sure to ask for it. A torn ACL, stress fracture, aching back, a hip that's had it, life on hold, and all you want is to get it back. Enter Wake Orthopedics. Our fellowship-trained orthopedists do it all. General, sports, pediatric, joint replacement, fracture, spine, prevention, advanced diagnostics, progressive treatments, minimally invasive procedures, surgeries, and more. Visit wakemed.org slash wakeortho and get back your life. If you see me stopped in the McDonald's drive-thru, just staring at the menu with my what-should-I-order face, don't interrupt. It's the most important decision I'll make all day. Enjoy savings every day when you get a McDouble, McChicken, and other faves. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Plus, get any size Dr. Pepper for just one twenty-nine. Price and participation may vary. Valid for product of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you? Man, I feel like I'm in my 20s again. At work, in the gym, and in the bedroom. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves? Yeah, you just need to send them a text. Text JUDGE to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea, the number one selling testosterone booster at GNC. Plus, text now and we'll include a bottle of Nugenics Thermo, our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast, absolutely free. Text J-U-D-G-E to 321321 that's Judge to 321-321. Hey, friends. Paul Eihander from 99.9, the Fan 4 Fan Duel. It is playoff time. NHL, NBA, and baseball is in full swing. Fan Duel is your place to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you bet your first five bucks. Just visit fanduel.com slash Paul. Paul with a capital P and sign up. Then you can bet on everything from slap shots to slam dunks to home runs, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. So get started today. $200 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 bet. Visit fanduel.com slash Paul, P-A-U-L, and get started. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Bonus issued as is non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Get a great deal this spring on a new train heating and cooling system. Train systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It's time for one of my favorite segments of the week. We call it Real Bold Predictions. And the reason why we call it Real Bold Predictions is because we're the only place in sports media that certifies it, right? We have a checks and balances system. Most places have bold predictions. Most shows, I'm sure you've listened to them, seen them, heard them. Uh, They do bold predictions. And then they say something like, Oh, LeBron's going to score eight points or more on Saturday. And then they have sound effects. They go, whoa. That's what we have. We have the not bold enough buzzer. So if we say a bold prediction that is not bold enough, Graham hits the buzzer. And we have to make it more bold on the spot until we get the bold enough bell. When Graham is here, it is the bold enough horn. Uh, so so that's where we're going to start. Uh, Paul, who's out here at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina with me in Durham, uh, will be uh, will be throwing them in there as he sees fit. I have mine, and I'll get it started. I have to be honest. I wrote these earlier today. I'm anticipating this one not being bold enough. Okay. Uh, I think Tiger finishes top 30 at the Masters. 
It's both oh, of them. Well, he's right. giving you that one. I'll, right. I'll take it. I was anticipating it not because he's currently tied for 24th. But uh, I was I, – I, I, I'll, I'll take it. Um, to be honest, it's probably a little uh, – even my little pompous, I don't think this is bold enough uh, statement there is probably a little uh, – a little cocky, a little arrogant, but uh, the fact of the matter is the guy knows the course. He plays it as well as everybody. If he has a bad back and needs to to cut corners, he knows which corners to cut. So I think Tiger finishing top 30 at the Masters is, is well within the realm of possibility. Uh, we'll come back to the, the Masters later, but, but right now, Andrei Svechnikov scores two goals over the weekend. Wow, enough. man, you're just – okay. At St. Louis tonight and at Chicago Sunday, two goals across the two of them, I'm taking it. I'm opening up my apps uh, right now. I was going to say, I was gonna <laughs> say anytime, anytime goal scorer in each. Um, and I didn't even have to say in which games. He could have two tonight and just check it off the list and have a, I'll have a, a lazy hockey watching Sunday. Uh, for context, here's Rod Brindamore on Svetch's bounce back. We all know the type of players because we get to watch them every night, and so there's a you know, high standard, right? You you expect that every night. The, not those goals, but the, the impact, and because that's the kind of player he is, and we all know um, that's that he's capable of. So it's good to see uh, the last couple of games, certainly. If I were to make it more bold, I might say another fetch. What if it, I mean that smack your face bold? It, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's true. He's got what three? Uh, that is the ultimate. I, I've I I love watching hockey. Obviously, I pay a lot of attention to it. I watch all of the Canes games. The the lacrosse goal is the ult, Like I have to imagine, it's like the the uh, um, hail mary of of football or something, where everybody goes, "Why don't you just do that every time?" Like like I see the lacrosse goal and I go, "It he he just can do that." Like the. Go- do it every time, Svetch. I know it's not that easy. I'm not saying it is, but it, it does feel like it should be like an unstoppable move that you just do every time. It's a bend it like messy. <laughs> yeah, it kind, of, it kind of is. Or it's like when you, like uh, Zach Eady with Purdue. Why don't you just throw it to him every time? He's massive. It's like, well, it's not that simple. <laughs> I know it's not, but it, you know, it does seem like Svetch could do that whenever he wants, anytime he has a little bit of space behind the net. Uh, we'll go to college basketball. I think by Monday, R.J. Davis announces he's coming back to UNC. Mm. Oh, I was prepared for this. I think by Monday, both R.J. Davis and Harrison Ingram announced they're coming back to UNC. There we go. Uh, reason being, I think they have a sense for the moment, and I think they uh, they do take rivalries uh a little bit seriously in this part of the college basketball world. So I think they are very tempted to go, oh, is Duke losing a whole bunch of their guys? <laughs> We're coming back. Uh, and and then on top of that, there's recruiting that's happening. There's transfer portaling that's happening. Um, I think the writing is on the wall for RJ Davis, especially when Seth Trimble announced he was going into the transfer portal. I have to imagine Seth at least sent a text to his buddy RJ like, hey, man, are there going to be 20 shots a game available for me to try to go get my portion of? Or are you going to come back and actually shoot 23 shots a game? Uh, and and even if it wasn't like I'm definitely coming back, I think it was probably hinted, you know what, I'm leaning towards or or something along those lines. I just got to wait for this NIL check to clear. Uh, so, so with Seth Trimble out, with the way UNC has been recruiting, I think R.J. Davis is coming back. And then to make it bold, I'll throw Harrison Ingram in there. He's projected as a second round pick. I'm not sure guys that are projected seconds leave for the pros anymore because of all of the opportunity to make uh, a ton of money in college and still be a starter and still develop and maybe play yourself into being a, a first rounder. So both come back. I say by Monday just because it feels like it's it's that time. Everyone's kind of announcing whether they're, they're staying or going. Uh, you have one you want to give us? I suppose. Um, Dom- Dominas, Domintas Sabonis will finish the season with two games to go with two triple doubles for the Sacramento mm. Kings. There you go. He leads the league in triple doubles with 26. Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets has 25. 
I, I have seen that this is kind of, and I wasn't aware of that with Sabonis. I've seen it's kind of a, a outlier year with the amount of guys putting up big amounts of triple doubles. Luca, uh, Jokic, and 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 Sabonis have all I don't know is it at least twenty or something like that, which it's is the first time in NBA numbers. history. Is that an era thing? Is that what we're saying? <laughs> an era? Era? Like is it, is it easier now? Is that is that what the old guys would say, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's simpler, but they're definitely dominant in their sport. Yes. Let's get Cheryl Swoops on the line to talk about how much more difficult basketball was back in the day. Doncic has 21. Okay, yeah, so they they all have at least 20. Do we want to go into the MVP? Who's going to win MVP? Gilgis Alexander, Luka, Jokic. It's a bonus. (laughs) It's a bonus. Well played. Well played. Uh, I'll go back to uh, another bold prediction here, but real bold predictions on the drive with Tim Donnelly. Uh, back to the Masters. Scotty Scheffler wins the whole tournament by three strokes. Oh, there's I, only, don't, I don't know. There's, there's I only, don't know. There's only one way to make this more bold, right? Four strokes. That's, this is this is turning into drunkenly bold. <laughs> like you're you're yeah, like right. you know you're a seven and you know she's a ten. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> The lights are on and, and they're they're kicking us out. Um, how about this? We'll go. We'll go. I'll go back to three strokes, but at some point on the weekend, he has a hole in one. All right. I, mean, I had to give it to you one. either way, just because of that analogy Paul just used. That I've been <laughs> that I'm laughing right now in the studio. That's crazy. I'd see. That's the part of real bold predictions I wasn't aware of. If we get you laughing, we automatically get the horn. Uh, yeah. You might have discovered my secret. All right. Well, I want to my into fancy a bar. A bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> a, a, a what is it? A, a a priest, a pastor, and a rabbit walk into a bar. The rabbit says, "Sorry, I'm a typo." <laughs> but um, there you go. No, nothing. No, bu- no buzzer. Mm-hmm. No horn. Uh, Freddie Anderson puts up a shutout tonight against St. Louis. Mm-hmm. How can I get more bold that he gives up negative one points? Ah, I don't even know what that means. I would have taken I would have I would have taken shutout and scored in the empty net goal. I was gonna say, does he have to score? I was gonna say, does he have to score? Goalie fight. Uh ooh, not at this point, Freddie. Do not mess with it. (laughs) I don't I don't even want to put that bold prediction out there because then if it happens, people are gonna accuse me of knowing something. Right. No goalie fights, especially not for Freddie for the Canes from this point forward. Uh that's real bold predictions. I'm a little upset I didn't get a bell for my my joke. Uh, however, somebody that's much, much better at jokes is, is scheduled to join us on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline coming up to start the starting five. Tom Segura, stand-up comedian, coming to uh, perform at PNC Arena on Sunday. He'll be uh, leading things off in the starting five coming up next. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. It's a big weekend in the sports world, folks. Major League Baseball in full go. You have NHL in full go. NBA is in full go. You want in on that action? You got to go to Underdog Sportsbook. And here's what Underdog Sportsbook gives you. A simple, easy-to-use app that's easy to navigate, easy to follow. For you as the sports fan, you don't have to worry about wondering what all these boxes means or things like that. It's simple. And that's what makes Underdog so great for you as a sports fan. So you want to put your parlays down, your prop bets, all that, go to Underdog Sportsbook. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android and sign up with the promo code Dennis. And use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code Dennis. Must be 21 plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. Evan, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Robert in Raleigh, listening on 99.9 The Fan. What's up, Robert? I got to go leftovers, macaroni and cheese. Michelle, I know you don't eat leftovers. My wife grew up eating leftovers. She'll bake a peach pie from scratch, have one piece, and then it's old. And I've heard you talking about where the best pizza is from. If you not had Pepe's, Sally's, or Modern Pizza, and they're all right they there in New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. Yep. Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 the fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. O'Reilly Auto Parts carries the best parts for your next repair. If your car isn't stopping like it used to, Brake Best Select pads and rotors can restore your braking system performance. Shop Brake Best Select products exclusively at O'Reilly. 
And visit your new Bun O'Reilly Auto Parts on Main Street next to Hardee's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friends at Buffalo Brothers. I live and work on both coasts, travel the country. Here's the deal. There's nothing like Buffalo Brothers. The best wings on the planet and a great place to watch all the big games. Visit all five triangle locations for great specials like half-priced appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6, and $6 Jamesons on Sunday. Dine in, carry out, buffbrothers.com. Aw, man, now I want wings. Ready for a new ride? Take a short drive to Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC in Sanford. For over 70 years, Wilkinson has provided great pricing for a wide selection of new and used vehicles. Right now, Wilkinson is offering 1.9% APR for 36 months for 2023 and 2024 GMC Sierra 1500s, plus an additional $32.50 off when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Shop today at Wilkinson Chevrolet Cadillac Buick GMC in Sanford. Just a short drive from the Triangle. Or shop our inventory at WilkinsonCars.com. GMC, we are professional grade. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Dogwood State Bank congratulates the NC State basketball men's and women's programs on their historic runs to the NCAA Tournament Final Fours, making us remember to never give up. Thanks for making us all believers in something magical. Go Pack! DogwoodStateBank.com Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself! At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Adam Gold here for the one and only Dr. Lori Travers at Travers LASIK, and I had LASIK surgery more than a dozen years ago, and people have asked me, Adam, wasn't that expensive? I'm not sure I can afford that. And I say all the time, well, how much does it cost you every year to get new contacts, to get new glasses, to get prescription sunglasses, to buy all the solutions, do everything you need, because you're going to lose the glasses, by the way. You're going to lose your prescription sunglasses like you lose every other pair of sunglasses. How much does that cost? Well, what if I told you that 24 months, zero financing was available, it's more affordable than you think, and we're going to kick in a $1,000 promotion for the spring. That's right. You'll save 1000 bucks at Travis. LASIK. Now, it seems a lot more affordable. It's also painless. Five minutes per eye. You could be back to work the very next day. All you have to do is pick up the phone now. 919-510-6830. And $1,000 off for the spring. 919-510-6830. Travers LASIK. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot! He scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm WRL meteorologist Mike Mays. There are a few showers and storms in our forecast at least through 8, 9 o'clock. Mostly clear overnight, 49. Windy again tomorrow. It's mostly sunny, low humidity, 73. 82 Sunday. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money at the closing bell. Dow Jones closes down today at 475 points at 37,983. That market update brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. o'clock time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day here comes your starting five the drive with tim donnelly 99.9 the fan we are live from the aluminum company of north carolina in durham and uh as always with the starting five we start with number five I got five 
Number five for today is a guest on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline. He is performing this Sunday at PNC Arena. Uh, he's a stand-up comedian and host of the Two Bears, One Cave podcast with Burt Kreischer. Uh, Tom Segura. Tom, thank you very much for, for taking the time. Uh, hey, I, 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 thanks for having me, man. Of course. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, we're a sports show. I'm a big fan of your podcast. It seems like you've been bringing on a lot more uh, – sports figures, former athletes, you're, you're, you're cool with the Taylor Lewans and Will Compton crew. Uh, what have you learned about pro athletes since you started maybe diving in with them in the podcasting world? Tom, are you there? Uh, I can't hear Tom if Tom is talking back to me. So I'm sure it's hilarious because Tom is a really funny guy. Uh, <laughs> all right, Graham's working behind the scenes to get him uh, off and running. Um, if I would have answered that question, the, 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 the thing I've learned about <laughs> professional athletes is, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But uh, uh, as they work to get Tom Segura back up and running here, uh, he is, he, all right, he's back. Tom, are you there? I am here. That was the most abrupt drop of my entire life. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Uh, well, as the, I mean, you're in the podcasting world. You, you know connections are not always the easiest thing. Um, yeah. I'm not sure if you heard, heard the question, so I'll run it back. Uh, pro athletes as, as podcast guests. Seems like you've had a bunch of them recently. I, I, I pay attention to your pod. Uh, how are they different? What have you learned about kind of the pro athlete world? I mean, it's. I think it's kind of – Look, in any facet, any area of life where you have people on, whether they're actors, comedians, athletes, actors, musicians, there's just people that are going to be gifted at conversation and then those that are not. And you've had them <laughs> with you and I've had them with me. And there's people who you're like, yeah, so, you know, tell me about when you got recruited and they're like, yeah, it was fine. And you're like, all right, this is fun, man. So there's some that it's like you're pulling teeth to get it going. And then there's some that are just, they're just, you know, they have it. They just know how to tell stories. They know how to make it engaging. And it's just like, you, you just never know. You never know until you step in the, um, in the arena with them. Would, would you name names on either side of that spectrum? I'm trying to think if you give me, because you might know the ones that like come to mind for you of who I've had on because I've had so many guests. Sometimes I run into like, I mean, you know, I've done, I just did busting with the boys. I think they're great. Those guys mm -hmm. are, you know, Taylor Lewan, Will Compton, they get it. They obviously have their own podcast. They know how to make it exciting and, and interesting. Oh, I have a funny one. Like I love AJ Hawk. He does Pat McAfee's show. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was like, Hey man, so you're like 22 your top five NFL draft pick and all of a sudden you're a millionaire. Like what is some of like the, like, what did you buy that was crazy at that age? And he was like, uh, I got like mulch. <laughs> and I was like, what? He was like, yeah, you know, like for like your, your trees and the grass. And I was like, is this a real answer? He was like, yeah, I just went, <laughs> I bought it. I didn't even think about it. And I was like, okay, that's cool, man. Thanks. Um, <laughs> You know, I was like, I was expecting you to tell me about a, a car or something. He was like, no, nah, I just buy mulch whenever I want. I was like, all right, that's very exciting. Um, so well, this is, a, this is a fantastic conversation for me because now I know that you're aware that, you know, you kind of control how entertaining the answers are. So I can throw anything at you and you're basically saying, I'm not going to give you a mulch answer. So, uh, so we'll, we'll uh, We'll go next with a dream podcast guest from the sports world, right? It's somebody who you think won't give you the mulch answer. Well, I mean, there's so many, like I've always wanted to have Pac-Man on because he has a wild, you know, like history. And I feel like, and he also is good on a mic. He's good on a mic. So I would want to hear, you know, crazy stories about that. Living in Austin, I've connected a few times, but never been able to book Ricky Williams. Cause I also feel like mm. it's gotta be, I'm really most interested in hearing about what it's like to be that caliber player in college. I just feel like I love college football 
And can you imagine being on campus in Austin while you're having the season he had, like it, as a Heisman? Like it, it's just that has to be crazy to me. That's the stuff that I'm most interested in. I also think Garnett. I've seen him on a dozen podcasts. He's unreal as a podcast guest or host. So I would love to have one with Garnett. I've podcasted a little bit with Tyson. I would love to do that again. You know, as a, somebody that grew up in the 80s and 90s, I mean, I've never seen him really do a podcast, but I'm obviously like a huge Jordan fan. So mm. he, would, he would be one that I would love to like, you know, give him a little bit of extra wine, some cigars, and just see if I could get him to talk a lot of trash. <laughs> I mean, trash Tom, talking is the best. Tom Segura, comedian. Show, he has a show on Sunday at PNC Arena coming to the area. You can also check out his podcast, Two Bears, One Cave, with Burt Kreischer. You bring up Tyson. Uh, I wanted to ask you this. Are you terrified when you're on stage doing your Tyson impression? Because I've heard you do it a bunch, knowing that like Tyson is going to hear it and you don't know if he's going to like it or not. And then if you're ever in the same room together, it's like, hey, who knows how this is going to go? I mean, I haven't done that that story in years because I used to. it used to be in the act and then the special came out and so when the Mm -hmm. special comes out i always drop the material from it i remember when i was touring with that i was like i wonder if he is not cool with this and then i (laughs) ran into him i ran into him and i was i always get scared a little bit just i've run into him a few times and i always feel fear like when i start talking that's appropriate yeah and um he brought it up he was like you know people say all the time is that true and it is true so i was like oh yeah yeah it is true and then as soon as I saw that he was amused by it, I was I felt way looser about it. But in general, yeah, I, I didn't know whether – the last thing you want – because a lot of times when you tell stories about anyone, you kind of wonder like, oh, are they cool with this? Are they okay with me doing this? Um, but he seemed to be totally fine with it. So I was like, all right, Tyson's cool with it. I can do it. Have you ever told a story or, or done an impression and learned that they weren't cool with it? I mean – there isn't one that really comes to mind where I go, I find out someone was cool with it, not cool with it. But, you know, there's always just a hint of hesitation. Like I wrote these stories about how I kept getting seated on flights next to famous people. Um, mm-hmm. And so I would I wrote those stories in, in, in my book. And I had like, you know, there's a story about Tyson, which at that point was known. Method Man, you know, from Wu-Tang Clan. I, I wrote a story <laughs> about him. Uh, how I flew next to Serena. Serena's the one, oh my God, this was hilarious. So I flew with Serena Williams like 10 years ago and I talked to her the whole flight. And at one point, you know, she was like, well, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I'm a comedian. And she's like, is there anywhere I can see your stuff? And at the time I had one special out, the first special called Completely Normal. So I write it down on a piece of paper for her and I go, here you go. You can see this, it's on Netflix. <laughs> And then I get off the plane, and as I'm walking off the plane, I just feel like a cold sweat hit me. And I I realize, and I really did not realize this when I was telling her, that in that special, I talk about how how cool, like a fantasy about having sex with her and her sister, like a threesome (laughs) with them would be. And I'm like, oh, my God, I just told her to go check that out. Like, I just told her, go watch me talk about you and your sister and (laughs) – having like a racket involved and everything. And like, I was like, Oh my God. And then years later, actually it was like 2021. I'm doing a special charity event at Madison square garden. And when I get off stage around the corner, I'm going to the reception for it. Like the after party, it's Serena Williams and her husband. And I stop (laughs) two of them and I'm a little high because Pete Davidson had a, was smoking weed in the tunnel, and I took a few hits. As and you do. I start telling them the story. I tell them the story about this. And the husband was like ear to ear smiling, and she looked so unamused. She was just like, <laughs> okay. And I go, yeah, so that, that's the story. And then she's like, where's the bar? Like, that's what she said at the end of this whole story. She's like, where's the bar? And I go, it's over there. And she just walked away. I was like, that's, that's somebody who I don't think is that amused with this. Yeah, she didn't seem to be find it funny at all. Oh, well, and and you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm thinking everyone acted exactly as they should in that whole interaction. You you had yeah, her listen to it. She she wasn't jacked about it. The husband thought it was funny. I think everyone comes out all right. Uh, yeah, everyone comes out from, all right. 
from the, uh, <laughs> the the famous interactions to maybe some some more down home interactions. According to your Wikipedia, you're a Lenore Ryan guy, which is obviously right here in North Carolina. You have a bunch of college Thank buddies you, coming to the show on Sunday. Furniture capital, baby. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got I got some uh, some college friends coming out to that show. Um, yeah, I had a great time there. You know, it's a small town. I had no idea that that school existed. Some people don't know the reason that I went there because they're like, how'd you end up at Lenore Ryan? I'm like, that was the only school I got into. So that's why oh. I went there. Um, I graduated high school with a very low GPA and Lenore Ryan was like, good enough for us. And so I went there. <laughs> uh, do, does How does that change it? Because like, I imagine you know when like, like a super duper celebrity is in the crowd, but I'd almost think it would be like more difficult to keep the set the same or stop giggling. If you know, you have like your, your freshman year dorm mate there, like, like watching, what is, what is that experience like being in a, I mean, PNC is a massive arena, but you know, like, you know, the six guys you got drunk with your freshman year there. I don't know. You know, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really affect me that much other than you just kind of go, Oh, I hope this is a good, sh like, there's always this thing in, I think, when you do live performance, especially stand-up, like your whole career, whenever it's like, hey, you, you like, because I'm not somebody that invites people to every show, but like, whenever you go, they go, oh, you know, an agent is coming, or the director of this movie <laughs> is going to be there. Part of your brain, like, goes, like, I wonder if this show's going to suck, because it happens, <laughs> right? Like, it happens when you're in L.A., and they go, the director of the movie is here. You're like, great. And then you have just like a totally sideways show that sucks. So you kind of just want, obviously you want your friends or people you invite to go to shows that are like, you know, gang bust, like rocket, like mm -hmm. just totally out of this world shows. And almost every time you'll be like, that was weird. And that's the show you have friends at. So you just hope that it's a good one. Does, does that happen in arenas? The, do you still have like off shows when people like, I imagine going into PNC arena, it's a big arena. Everyone's there. They're, it's like the warmest room ever. Cause we're just there to have a great time. Do you still have off shows at this point in your career? I mean, you know, what's funny is that somebody pointed, pointed this out to me once how it's off in that it's, you know, it's off. It's not off in that everybody mm -hmm. in the audience knows that this is off. Like they don't know because their reference is probably that show. So it can be very mediocre and people at a mediocre, even arena show will leave going like, well, that, I guess that was great. Like that was great. And it's <laughs> like, yeah, but I've done a hundred of these. So I know that it sucked. Like it, it's that I know, you know, like I, I've been, I've done these where you just kind of, there's always this tell in arena shows, which is there's, there's a, there's a mic backstage. They call it the VOG, right? The voice of God, mic. It's the one you turn on and then, they just hear your voice. And every time you turn on that mic at any show and you go like, what's that? like, what's going on, Raleigh? And you hear that they're hearing your voice. So it's that first pop, that pop a lot of times dictates what level show it's going to be. Like if you go, what's going on? And you just hear like some mild applause. We always look at each other like, Oh boy, this is, gonna be a, <laughs> this is not going to be as fun. But when you hear them explode, you go, okay, because it's an energy thing. That's the whole thing that whether it's a club, a theater, or an arena, it's a transfer of energy. You're putting something out, which is like your performance, and they're giving something back. So when it's hot for them, it becomes – you kind of become better. You know, you guys become sort of one thing together, you, you and the audience. Tom Segura, stand-up comedian. Tom, last thing uh, before we let you go, and thank you for taking so much time to to chat with us, and and, and we're looking forward to you coming to the area on Sunday. Uh, we had a, a member of the NC State men's basketball team who just took the world by storm uh, on the show earlier today, and we we ended with this question, and it was kind of fun, and, and it's probably more interesting or more apt for somebody that's having their college career come to an end. Uh, but what's next for you? It seems like you've done – so much right you're on an arena tour you've done the tv thing you have the podcast what's what's next for tom segura well uh earlier this week i mean it got announced um i have a, a new series coming to netflix which is a, a scripted series so that's the first time i'm doing that where um we're doing a six episode series we'll sh probably we get in the writer's room in may and we'll probably be shooting in october and then it'll come out in 2025 um and i'm super excited to, to do that. Um, it's a, it's a pretty, you know, crazy show where we have very dark twisted stories in it. And uh, that's my favorite kind of stuff. So I'm, 
I'm just excited that I get to to do it. Um, but yeah, that's the next big thing on my on my calendar. Tom, we appreciate you for for taking the time and and good luck. Hopefully, you get a good pop and it's a good show on uh, on Sunday in Raleigh, even if we don't know the difference. Fingers crossed, baby. I can't wait. <laughs> Once again, that is Tom Segura, stand-up comedian, coming to PNC on Sunday. Check out his podcast, Two Bears, One Cave, with Burt Kreischer as well. Uh, and all of that took place on the Heaster Automotive Group hotline. Uh, and all of that was number five on the starting five. Let's quickly get to number four. We are the four horsemen. Woo! Kentucky finally got their coach, Mark Pope. Uh, I say finally because the, the way it played out in the media seemed like there was quite a bit of uh, no being told to them by – big fish coaches out there uh as i said earlier there's a million different ways to hire or handle a coaching search kentucky decided to swing for the fences the fences publicly also the fences never mind uh <laughs> just move on tim <laughs> move on uh the, the meanwhile we've seen schools like unc and duke do so uh maybe a little bit more behind the scenes and and i think it's time to be appreciative that they did so if you're a fan of duke and unc because what kentucky just went through didn't look like a lot of fun that's number four let's get to number three One, two, three. peyton wilson nc state not a top two round pick not in the first two rounds according to mel kuyper's latest uh mock draft however we we didn't mention this earlier graham barton interior offensive lineman from duke, duke. all the way up to number 20 to pittsburgh he is he's rising he is moving up substantially he kind of was in that second round for a while i think uh and, and by the way we talked about the nature of mock drafts earlier and how you need headlines for each of your mock drafts I don't think raising the center is one you, you do <laughs> like, Hey, the center's now a 20th pick. Yeah, that's not one that's going to move a lot of newspapers as they used to say. Uh, but I do think the more and more and more these insiders and analysts and mock drafters have spoken to people in the league. That's when Graham Barton has started to rise. And, and you know, that's the, the, I hate the cliches of like, if you know ball, uh, but it, if you, if you know ball, I think you understand how important somebody like Graham Barton is to your offensive line. And a team like Pittsburgh makes some sense there because, uh, you know, new quarterback, they know what, what Russ brings and, and they need somebody to match wits with him from a veteran standpoint. Like, he's going to be up there making checks, making calls. It does seem like since Russ is less, Russell, Russell Wilson, obviously, uh, has left Seattle, he's been all about, I want my fingerprints on everything. Uh well, I think he's going to have full autonomy at the line. He's going to be able to change every play in every which direction. You're going to need some some linemen that can keep up with that, particularly a center, because they're kind of the quarterback of the offensive line. Graham Barton fits in there, makes a lot of sense. And uh, a 20th pick at center, that's about as high as centers can go. You rarely see him in the first round, uh, let alone, you know, kind of top two-thirds of the, of the first round. So credit to the Duke product, Graham Barton. That's number three. Let's jump to number two. Just the two. A lot of news from the Duke basketball team on who's staying and who's going. Tyrese Proctor staying in, in Durham. And before you make all of the jokes, he would have had a spot in the NBA. I do not think he would have been probably, I would say, a late second round pick, maybe an undrafted guy, but he would have gotten a shot at least in the G League. Uh, so you can miss with the whole like he didn't really have a decision to make. He did. And he's coming back. Uh, Jared McCain and Kyle Filipowski had a, I would say, an easier decision to make, which is they're going to be first-round picks. Filipowski, probably a lottery pick. Jared McCain might play himself into that with pre-draft process if he tests a little bit more uh, athletically, high athleticism than, than you'd expect. Uh, he could really rise. Um, but if you're Duke, I mean, you're reloading. I think one thing that John Shire is learning, and the on-court on product is, is teaching, is you need to think about the team – and its composition, maybe a little bit more so than how their talent fits together. He's going to have five-star point guards, shooting guards, three and D wings, a four men and five men. Uh, but you need to mix in the veterans. I think Tyrese Proctor, and if they can get Jeremy Roach back, help that. You also need to mix up the personalities. You can't all be the same person with the same temperament. You need the guy with edge. You need the calm, cool, collected. You need the hustle guy. You need the quiet but mean. Like You need all of it to fit together. Uh, and I think Tyrese Proctor coming back helps them keep that that variety of, of person 
as much as it is variety of talent. That's number two, cruising through the starting five here on the drive. Let's get to number one. The one! The Carolina Hurricanes are at the St. Louis Blues tonight. Uh, the St. Louis Blues are in an interesting situation. They are one of two teams in the West that are both not clinched into the playoffs and not mathematically eliminated. Only the Knights, the Golden Knights, and the Blues are still up for grabs, still have a chance to make it, but might not. Everyone else is either in the playoffs or out of the playoffs in the West. There's more uh, moving and shaking that can happen in the East, but the West is pretty much decided except for those two. And St. Louis is three points behind Vegas, so they're the the hunter, not the hunted, which means the Canes are going to be up against a desperate, backs against the wall, uh, need to win, need those two points team, and they're going to do so by any means necessary. The Canes have to match that. They, they, they have to match that or, like, don't play any of your stars, right? I mean, and they are, so they have to match it. I'm saying uh, you can't protect yourself in this one because the other team – is not going into this with any kind of protection on their mind. Uh, one of the lines I like to use is quite often the person that wins the fight is the person that wants to be in the fight. Uh, if you ever see somebody going like, whoa, 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 let's talk about this. And the other person is like taking their shirt off and ready to fight. That person has the advantage. The Canes don't want to be going into this one with like, well, the season's pretty much over. Let's just all stay healthy for the postseason. Meanwhile, the Blues are, are dropping the gloves and ready to go. You, you can't be that different in temperament, which means the Canes just have to, I don't know, start taking their shirt off and run into the fight with, you know, a metaphorical shard of a bottle in their hand ready to scrap. You have to be the crazier one in the fight. Uh, here's Rod Brindamore. We had a uh, clip earlier of, of the Canes building momentum off of these final road games. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's one way to say it. You know, that's the, the coach speech. That's certainly the, the way to talk about it. We, what's important is to keep doing it right. And for us to, you know, obviously you want to get better every day and working on the little things and set us up for um, whatever the playoffs start. So uh, you know, that's the way the, that's the way we got to look at it. That's the way you got to look at it. Uh, the 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 hardest part about Rod Brindamore, and I said this earlier, that sounds like a, a coach that um, was trying his hardest to not tell us that this game doesn't really carry a lot of weight for them. Uh, that's not what he said, but it was like, well, you know, the coach speak is we're just going to try to build momentum, and that's why we're going to go for it. And it's all right, well, what's the not coach speak? Is the not coach speak, as long as we're healthy, we consider this a win? Is the not coach speak, uh, you know, this means a lot more to them than it does us? I don't know. It's the, the coach speak is what he gave us. So that, uh, you know, that's what we got. The hardest part about Rod Brindamore is um, I think kind of his nonverbal communication is so hard to read, right? The, 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 I'm not sure. Like if he goes, well, that's the coach speak. That's kind of inferring that there's something else he wants to say, but he's agreeing with us. Cause that's what every coach says. As soon as somebody in indicates that my brain goes to, well, let's see what he really thinks. Rod doesn't want to admit he's scoreboard watching. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to admit he's scoreboard watching, Tim, because this team is three points out of first in the Metro. And with three wins and some New York Rangers stumbles, we're talking about a completely different... That might different, be exactly what it is. We are That's dealing a with a completely different playoff pairing come the end of next week. That might be... that. that now that you say it, that might be exactly what he's, what he's saying. He, and that would be super anti-coach speak. Because, right, that's letting something that you can't control affect what what you're doing. And coaches are always control what you can control. Who cares what's going on elsewhere? Uh, the scoreboard watching element is interesting. And and it does, like, you know, that ring around PNC Arena. Like, they, they put up other scores. They do like, indeed. They, and this one's obviously on the road. But uh, but it's a good point. Good point from Paul Eihander, who who jumped on there. And he's every, been... Every once in a while, a squirrel finds a nut, <laughs> hey, Tim. That's just how it is. Uh, it's, I'm a volume. I'm a volume shooter. That's that's. When <laughs> I, I send more, more, more takes out there and see see what happens. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9. The fan want to tell you about my partners over at DraftKings. The 82 game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the play-in tournament all the way through the finals, from every opening tip to buzzer beater, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same-game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. And how about this, right? You can get into the same-game parlays, the live betting, the odds boosts, 
a lot of those things I very much enjoy. But if you're new to this, you don't have to start there, right? You can start with picking a winner, right? Betting on the money line. Simply pick a team to win, go to the app, select that team, place your first bet. It's that simple. You know, that you're looking for uh, something that maybe is easier to track. You don't have to go into the stats tab on your, your sports app to find out what's going on or who's winning. All you have to do is check the score. Here's something else to sweeten the deal for new customers. Bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. New customers download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code TIMD, T-I-M-D with no spaces. That's code TIMD to get $200 in bonus bets when you bet just $5. Only on DraftKings, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 Eight hours after issuance, deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms. We're going to take a break, but first, we need some numbers game contestants. America's favorite car show returns to the Tar Heel State with a hot rodding event you don't want to miss. The winner of the numbers game will win a pair of tickets to Good Guys, Ninth Griot's Garage, North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds, April 19th through 21st. If you want to win the tickets, you got to win the numbers game. If you want to win the numbers game, you have to call in right now. We need two contestants, 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326. Numbers game coming up next. 99.9 The Fan and Dogwood State Bank congratulate the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their historic runs in this year's NCAA tournament. Their amazing play leading to the final basketball weekends in Phoenix and Cleveland provided us memories to last an entire lifetime. Thanks for inspiring us to never give up. Thanks for making us all believers. Once again, Dogwood State Bank congratulates the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their amazing play. Go Pack! America's favorite car show returns to Raleigh with cool cars, cool people, and good times. It's the Good Guys Night, Rio's Garage, North Carolina National. And it's all happening April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Check out over 1,500 of the Southeast's finest classes. Shop the swap meet in Vendor Midway. Experience the metal crunch in Saturday Night Demolition Derby and so much more. And don't miss the return of high-octane Good Guys CPP Auto Cross Racing action all weekend long. And it's all going down April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Get details at good-guys.com. He's one of those kids that only laughs at real anger. I don't know if you've ever met one of those peaches, but see, most two and three year olds, they laugh at manufactured anger. You can go up to a kid that age and just go, rah, and they're like, <laughs> and this kid's like, mm mm. I want to see your blood pressure spike, man. From his multiple Netflix specials, comedian Tom Segura brings his new tour come together to PNC Arena Raleigh April 14th. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca-Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just $1.79. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Adam Gold in studio with my man, Sammy Hanna, owner and operator of the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. And the company goes back to 1961. I don't think any of your sales staff was there in 1961, but you guys have been there a long time. It's amazing. Yeah, we don't, unfortunately, have any salesmen that go back that far. But with our experience levels, it feels like we do sometimes. Mm -hmm. We've got a great sales staff of six currently. Dallas Brewer, Patrick Day, Ryan Monsine, John Alexander, Jeff Hoffman, and Danny Newman, who have hundreds of years of experience in the home improvement industry. Most of our guys are general contractors, so we can get out there and assess your home and develop a plan that works for your home improvement needs. I know Danny helped me back in 1999, so he's been there for at least 25 years. Incredible stuff. Yeah, and you say 1999 like it's yesterday, but 1999 was 25 years ago. It feels like yesterday. <laughs> you guys did great work. Aluminum Company of North Carolina. They'll treat you like family. On Hamlin Road in Durham, aluminumcompany.com. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. 
Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet, delivering fast and reliable speeds for just $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G. Ask how you can get a Visa Rewards card up to $500 when you add more mobile lines. Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and mobile. Get it all with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Restrictions apply. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We are live from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina in Durham. Check out their spring open house continuing tomorrow at 8 a.m. There'll be food. There'll be gift certificates to give away. There'll be, obviously, a ton of knowledge on uh, windows and siding. Check them out at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina, 1335 Hamlin Road in Durham. Right now, it's time for me to pretend to be a game show host. We have John in Wake Forest and Andrew in Raleigh. On the line, they'll be competing to win a pair of tickets to Good Guys, Ninth Griot's Garage, North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds, April 19th through 21st. Uh, As always on a Friday, we have uh, the same question to find out who goes first, and we pick our favorite answer. John in Wake Forest, what is the highlight of your upcoming sports weekend? What is the thing you're looking forward to most, but it has to be sports related? Definitely Masters Sunday. Not a bad answer at all. Uh, Andrew and Raleigh, we go to you. Same question, same uh, same deal here. What is your sports highlight of the weekend upcoming? Well, he stole my answer, so I'll go with moving day tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I appreciate the creativity from Andrew trying to be just different enough, but, I mean, if you even agree with him and he went first. John gets to go first. Uh, both good answers, though, and, and playing to the, the, the judge as well. I'm a big, big golf fan. Uh, John, are you there? Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and uh, pick your category. Here they are. NFL, new Mike check. All players named Michael or Mike. NFL, horseshoe home. Uh, obviously, all players who uh, play their college football with Ohio State. NBA, current players only or NHL, Canes and Whalers only. Uh, let's go with the new Mike. All right. All these players have either Michael or Mike as their first name. I will give you the the player and the team give me the jersey number as quickly as you can 30 seconds on the clock you do have one pass if you need it any last second questions good to go all right your time will start when you hear the horn michael thomas new orleans saints 13 correct michael strahan new york giants 92 correct michael crabtree san francisco 49ers 15 correct mike glennon tampa bay buccaneers 8 Correct. Mike Vrabel, New England Patriots. 54. Incorrect. Mike Vrabel, New England Patriots. 50. Correct. Five for five. Smoked it. Uh, uh, Graham, how much time was that? 28 seconds. 28. Oh, Ooh. felt faster than that. But but you got it in under the wire. Maybe if you got Mike Vrabel on one. I mean, come on, dude. Uh, <laughs> Vrabel wore 96 with, with – uh, I don't even know Pitt, uh, but but fifty with the the Patriots. So congratulations, that's a perfect score. That's a heck of a way to start off our Friday. <laughs> Thanks. Sit on the line. We'll see if it holds up because even though he went perfect, Andrew and Raleigh can still beat you with a faster perfect score. So Andrew, are you there? I sure am. All right. The uh, categories remaining are NFL horseshoe home, all the Ohio State players, NBA current players, and NHL Canes and Whalers only. All right, let's do the Ohio State one. All right. Uh, you need to get all five. You do have a pass, but that would 
probably not be the best time to use it. Uh, you have 30 seconds on the clock. I'll give you the team and the player. You give me the jersey number. Any last second questions? Nope. All right, your time will start when you hear the horn. C.J. Stroud, Houston Texans. Seven. Correct. Garrett Wilson, New York Jets. Thirteen. Incorrect. Terry McLaurin, Washington Commanders. Uh, that's thirteen. Incorrect. Garrett Wilson, New York Jets. Eleven. Incorrect. Terry McLaurin, Washington Commanders. Oh man, this guy's got the ticket. I have no idea. <laughs> Terry McLaurin, Washington Commanders. Fourteen. Do you, do you know what is Do you know what is funny about that, Andrew? You knew that Garrett Wilson and Terry McLaurin had the same jersey number. You just had the wrong jersey number. They both wore number uh, or both wear number seventeen. Uh, so that's that's funny how our, our brains work in that way. You did get C.J. Stroud with seven. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's not enough to get the win. But but hopefully, you had a good time playing. Sure did. Congrats, John. I I love the sportsmanship amongst our listeners. John and Wake Forest, congratulations. You're the winner. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. That was a solid, perfect score on a Friday. So uh, enjoy the win. Gloat to your friends and sit on the line to make sure Graham gets the info he needs to get your tickets. All right. Sounds good. Y'all have a good one. You too. Tim, do you have the vibe that Andrew probably could have run the table too if he could have come up with those double 17s? Like you had that vibe, he, right? He, well, the thing is, once once somebody gets the the perfect score, as soon as you like hesitate on one, you know you can't win the whole thing, and it just it just sapped his energy. I think he could have had four out of four out of five if he would have just not let missing Garrett Wilson get him down. But I, I do kind of also respect that if you're not first, you're last. He's like, what does a four do for me if I if I don't get the tickets? <laughs> so hey, yeah, little Ricky Bobby was on that one. Uh, Right now, it's time to update you. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, you know, maybe being a stroke or two behind and letting it ruin your your day, let's talk golf. Uh, let's check the live leaderboard from the Masters, teed up by Treyburn Country Club, the Triangle's Golf Escape. Uh, at the top of the leaderboard right now, we have a tie to two of the more different yet best golfers in the world. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau is even on the day through 17 holes. He is seven under, as is uh scotty scheffler he's one under on the day through 10 holes and he is seven under they are tied leading the way uh one stroke clear of max homa who is in third and other than that nobody else is more than four strokes under par homa six under the two leaders seven under so they're building a little bit of a lead but as i said right this it's still golf and it's at augusta national so everyone is one bad swing away from going on full tilt uh to update you on uh, Tiger Woods, he is because he's in the clubhouse with his plus one through two rounds, uh, played even today. And the course is actually playing pretty difficult this afternoon. People keep falling around him. He keeps rising in the standings. He's up to tied for 24th. I believe he was 29th when he got off the course. So now he's up for, uh, up, up to tied for 24th you know, Tiger Woods going into the weekend on the masters is flirting with the top 20. That's more than most would have expected out of him at this point in time. Tied with names like Will Zalatoris, who played at Wake Forest. Yep. Tied with Rory McIlroy. Tied with Justin Thomas. These are some of the best golfers out there right now. Tied with Tiger Woods playing with a bad back and he hasn't played in months competitively. So eh, take that, Tiger haters. Uh, guys that will miss the cut in some surprising uh, uh, events. I think I saw, I want to make sure I, I don't, Victor Hovland. Doesn't look like he's going to make the cut. That's a surprising one. Uh, I see A. Johnson. I'm looking for Dustin Johnson. Dustin Johnson, not going to make the cut. There are some big names not making the cut. Rose, Adam Scott. Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler, Siwoo Kim. Grayson Murray, who is a Raleigh guy, is plus six, and that's not going to come back to him. So uh, Grayson Murray not going to make it. Akshay Batia. I want to highlight him real quick. Lives in Wake Forest, so there's a local connection. He uh, he made the cut. He didn't know he was going to be playing in the Masters until last Sunday. He won last Sunday right. to qualify for the Masters. Got there in time to get his practice rounds in. He's going to make the cut and see the weekend. He's just 22 years old. Uh, that's pretty darn good for the local guy. So shout out to Akshay. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's time to make our picks. We round out the week from here at the North Car- or the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. We make our picks for the weekend coming up.
Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Go to DeepRiverSportingClays.com. I know we're all waiting for our favorite hockey team to hit the ice once again back home. Well, guess what? Before that happens, head over to Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Get that outdoor adventure that you want to have on a weekend, on a beautiful sunny day, and just have that fun experience with friends and family before our favorite hockey team comes back home. Check them out online, DeepRiverSportingClays.com. Again, DeepRiverSportingClays.com. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way. We get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, save on select steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V Lawn Mower Battery Set. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. With AK30 battery and AL101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. At Wake Med MyCare 365, we deliver convenience others only talk about every day of the year. Primary care and urgent care under one roof. Multiple locations, virtual visits, walk in or schedule an appointment online. From annual physicals and routine care to sinus infection, strep, or the flu, we couldn't be more convenient. Learn more about our kind of care and our kind of convenience at wakemed.org. It's bow time. <laughs> Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bo's Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bo's Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. <laughs> There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles new Bird Dog, a season to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's bow time. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. Hit the Grand Slam jackpot with Ben. MGM. Hey, it's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM, and you can score a $50,000 bonus bet jackpot when a player you bet on to hit a homer slugs a grand slam. Simply head over to BetMGM and place a home run prop bet for any of this weekend's games. If the player you bet on goes yard with the bases loaded, you'll win a share of $50,000 in bonus bets on top of your wager. Take advantage of great home run odds, new ways to enjoy all nine innings with more same-game parlay options and exclusive signature bets found nowhere else. Log into BetMGM or create your account to place a bet on a player to knock one over the fence this weekend. If they hit a grand slam, you'll win a share of 50000 in bonus bets. BetMGM, official sports betting partner of the MLB. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 years of age or older only. North Carolina only. New and existing customer offer subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular's single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 20. Want to keep your gas-powered engines running like new? Stable's proprietary formulas are proven by third-party testing to outperform the competition in keeping fuel fresh 
preventing corrosion, and cleaning the entire fuel system. With Stable, you can have confidence you are doing the right thing for your engine's long-term health. Just pour into your gas can or fuel tank, then top off with fresh fuel. At every fill-up or when you store, start with Stable. Available where fuel additives are sold. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We're live from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Spring Open House. They're wrapped up for today, but that's okay. They open back up tomorrow. I thought that, sorry for the pause. I thought Grant was telling me something. In no, my, I think he was, he was doing the Caddyshack thing because he's playing oh, the eyeball right by Kenny Loggins. Now so I got he's you. doing the no, 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 in your ear. Was that a little Noonan? Yes. No, 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 no. Well, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It got me distracted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a Chevy Chase's. I, I saw Paul dance, and I, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. Was he doing the Gopher? Did I miss the little Gopher wiggle? <laughs> um, still, if you want to see the the Gopher wiggle, you have to go to one of our live streams. Um, but tomorrow, if you want to see the Spring Open House, you have to go to one three three five Hamlin Road here in Durham. Salesmen and factory representatives will be available to answer all your exterior home improvement questions. If you can't wait, you can call them now and they'll provide a free, no obligation ens estimate or bring photos of what you currently have tomorrow and they'll provide you with an estimate. Plus, they can provide special financing. In addition to that, there's Bojangles breakfast, there's free lunch, there's free ice cream uh, from, from on-site food trucks and ice, ice cream trucks during lunchtime. Uh, check it all out here at the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Spring Open House. They've been very uh, hospitable hosts for us all day today. Uh, in the meantime, it's time to make our picks for the weekend. We can't send you into the weekend without making our picks. So, uh, Graham, start setting them up, and we'll start uh, making those picks. All right, the first thing I'm going to ask of you guys, and, Paul, you're included in this, is I want to know who you have winning the Masters straight up this weekend. Okay, I'm going to answer this twice because my first answer, I understand, is completely unfun. Uh, the heavy betting favorite, Scotty Scheffler. I do. I have all my nerd numbers that I look at, you know, strokes gained in different parts of the game. Uh, it gave me Scotty Scheffler. So Scotty Scheffler, but knowing that's not fun at all. I'll take one of the local guys. I think Cam Young to top five. Cam Young played his uh, college golf at Wake Forest. Uh, he was a little up and down today, but I think in the weekend he settles down. I think he finishes in the top five. Bryson. Ooh. Bryson, right at the top. I'm a fan of Bryson, Bryson too. He holds it in mentally. I think by staking himself such a good day one and managing to stay solid over day two while everyone else was struggling and everyone continues to struggle in the conditions, I think he holds it, and I think he rolls it all the way through the weekend. Fair enough. By the way, little little Masters update. Bryson DeChambeau just bogeyed the 18th to fall to Duh. tied for second with – no, that's not that far. Uh, Scheffler is alone in first right now, but he still has uh, – A lot of golf. Yeah, still play. has a lot of golf left to play today. And as you mentioned, the, the condition's not great. Uh, Graham, keep it rolling. All right, we're going to move on to a sport that we don't really talk – we don't really do a lot of picks for on this program. But we're going to go to the NBA, except I have a little caveat there I'm going to throw into it. I want to pick the games of the teams that Paul has formerly covered – in his market. Mm. So we're going to start off with the Atlanta Hawks versus the Minnesota Timberwolves tonight. Uh, the Timberwolves are monsters this year, right? And they're still <laughs> yes, jockeying they for, for the top yes, of the West. They are. So give me Minnesota. And uh, and is Towns coming back? I know he's coming back soon. I don't know if it's quite yet, but I think that's building their momentum. Give me the Timberwolves. Yeah, I don't know if they announced tonight or not, but Minnesota by whatever the number <laughs> Minnesota by whatever the number is over Atlanta. All right. You can count this next one as a winner gets Paul back matchup as it's the Denver Ooh. Nuggets versus the San Antonio Except Antonio's we're keeping it, so no, we can't call it that. Yeah, <laughs> we can't call it that. Denver and San Antonio. Oh, come on, really? You, you go first. It's it's the Nuggets. The Nuggets by 12. You, you are throwing kind of like the monsters in the West against some some bottom this feeders. Is the, this is the parlay kind of thing. You yeah. Know, we were, you and I were just talking yeah. about parlays. This has that parlay written all over it. It's a trick one, though, because San Antonio has been playing some pretty decent basketball lately. I don't know if that's just the youth not knowing better or them just trying to catch up to their growth. They, but they, not dead. It's dead. Wemby has the new logo. The alien head. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, he is the alien. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. They revealed it during the eclipse. <laughs> of course they did. Yeah, Nugs, dude. The chicken kind and the Denver kind. All right, fair enough. And just to stick with the local team here, the Charlotte Hornets versus the Boston Celtics. 
What? Seriously? <laughs> I think you may have asked like the three best teams in the league this year against three of the worst. We can scratch um, that one. We can just move on to hockey if you want to. We'll, we'll, we'll go Celtics by a bundle. Um, if you want a, a pro Hornets prediction, I think Brandon Miller does something cool. Is there a mini Ditka flag? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who get the, that the, reference. The, the tornado's named Ditka. We might would have been better off just going to hockey and skipping yeah, NBA. Well, and, uh, we, we, took, we, we took a detour. In total, we have five NHL games tonight, but I'm going to pick the ones that sort of have some meaning. Uh, let's go with the uh, Minnesota Wild versus Vegas Golden Knights. I, I actually been I've been talking about the Knights in relation to their standing in in the West. There are three points up on St. Louis, who's playing the, the Canes, uh, and they're defending that final playoff spot. I think they're going to be wildly motivated. Give me the Knights to win. Yeah, I take the Wild on this one. Kirill uh, Kaprizov uh, won't let won't let the Knights uh, skate by them. No pun intended. There's a lot of bad blood between the Knights and Minnesota from a mm-hmm. couple series ago, uh, a couple a couple playoff series ago. So Wild in this one. Two more, and I just realized that I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the NBA that I'm doing for the NHL. The caveat <laughs> is former markets that Paul used to work with. So let's okay. go to the Arizona Coyotes on the road oh. against the Edmonton Oilers. There's some rumblings that the Arizona Coyotes won't be the Arizona Coyotes for much longer. Uh, who are they playing? Edmonton. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Edmonton. Clayton Keller is a one-man show in Arizona, and the Edmonton Oilers are like a 16-person show. Uh, yeah, give me give me the Oilers on what, however many goals you have to give on the line. Right. Arizona's last, what, three games as a franchise in Arizona? You, you could you parlay, the like, the, the Timberwolves, the Nuggets, the Celtics, and Edmonton, and you you get, like, minus 110. And finally, your Carolina Hurricanes against the St. Louis Blues. Give me the Canes. Uh, I, I think it, it's it's Freddie in, in net, which pretty much means that's that's all I need. Uh, if they keep the rotation going, which they have been going, there, there wasn't a morning skate. Uh, give me the Canes 4-2. Four, 4-1, four, one, four, one. Yeah, I like at least one and a half for the Canes in this one. I'm 3-1 on this one. Stall. Svetch. Ooh, I like this. Stall, Svetch, and we'll say Shea on a power play goal. I think I think Kuzi gets one. He's due. He needs one. It, he, yeah, he could use some good vibes. He needs one. Uh, thank you to Paul for hanging out with me here at the the uh, Aluminum Company of North Carolina. Thank you to Graham for keeping us up and running back in the, the studio. Thank you to Tiger Woods for making the cut and allowing me to talk trash to a whole bunch of people that uh, that were anti-Tiger. Uh, coming up next, we have Overdrive here on 99.9 The Fan, and we are going to start things off with a conversation with one of the more popular athletes in the country of the last month or so. DJ Horn, uh, the season-long leading scorer for the NC State Wolfpack, uh, coming off a, a run through the or to the Final Four, I should say. Paul caught up with DJ yesterday, so you're going to hear that conversation to start Overdrive. Uh, once again, check out the Aluminum Company of North Carolina Open House tomorrow at 8 a.m. Starts at 8, goes till 4. There's food, there's events, there's there's prizes to win, and of course there is uh, salesmen and factory representatives. Oh, with available uh, available time to answer all of your exterior questions. I also want to let you know about my friends over at Bailey's Fine Jewelry and their Fox and Bailey watch shop. If you walk into Bailey's Fine Jewelry, their Village District location, if you go right, you'll see their watch shop, which is the Fox and Bailey watch shop, which is a great time. I encourage you to do that. But if you turn left, you have their Omega Boutique. Uh, I've been, been uh, basically window shopping and ogling over the new white dial uh, Omega Speedmaster. The Speedmaster is the Moonwatch. It was selected by NASA as the official watch for astronauts in the American space program. It's been that way uh, for decades and decades and decades. And for the first time in a non-limited edition, you can get that watch, the Speedmaster, with a white dial, and you can get it from the Fox and Bailey, or from Bailey's Fine Jewelry in their Omega Boutique. And then on the other side of the store, they have their Fox and Bailey Watch Shop, uh, which is uh, another great place if you're into timepieces and watches and watch straps and everything else. So check them out and make sure they know we sent you from here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly. Overdrive coming up next. Paul and DJ Horn leading us off. We'll talk to you on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend, everybody. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. Orloff, he scores! Dimitri Orloff, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch 
with Adam Gold. 7.30, puck drop at 8. Second chance, they score!